Welcome, everybody. Boom! 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 I'm trying to do a TJ intro every single time on here. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to TJ Warren TV. This is the Brighton versus Arsenal watch along. I'm back. I'm not TJ. Who, who is this guy? Why is this guy here? Of course, TJ is still away on vacation, on a well-rested, hopefully well-rested vacation. Um, so I'm here doing another watch-along today, going solo today. Once, Well, going solo this time today. Um, yeah, big, big game. Every game is going to be big now, leading up to May, including in the Champions League as well. Um, I hope you're all well. Big up to the 16 people inside, whether you're watching on YouTube, Twitter or Twitch. Big up to absolutely everyone. It's a big game. And um, yeah, the lineup, there's two players in that lineup I'm not too happy to see. Um, I really wish Kivior was there or even Tommy Asu. And I wish Martinelli was there as well. Um, we'll get into the lineup in a minute. Big up to everyone inside. Please do smash the likes if you uh, if you if you if you want to. It's up to you. But also make sure to subscribe as well. We're on the road to 1k on this channel. 1k. If we can get TJ to 1k. By the end of the month, that'd be very, very appreciated. And uh, yeah, big up to everyone inside. Big up to Elias. Big up to Stephanie. Big up to Johnny Donuts. What's up, my guy? Hope you're all well. And of course, big up to the best mod on YouTube. That is AJ. Big up AJ every single time. Thank you for putting in my link, brother. Um, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts and feelings and predictions of one, the lineup, and two, your prediction for the game today. Big up to the 19 people inside. 20 now. Absolute legends. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, <laughs> big up to Scott. Today we find out who's a bigger fraud, Arsenal or Connor. My guess is both. Let us down. Get out of here, Scott. Get out of here. Big up to you, bro. And big up to Rayan as well. Uh, big up Connor. Where is Mr. Negative? Mr. Negative, TJ is currently away on vacation. Uh, he will be back for the... I think he'll be playing after... after um, by Munich. He's all, he's back after the Bayern Munich game. So I'll be here again for Bayern Munich on Tuesday and he'll be back for the Aston Villa game on Sunday. Whether he'll he'll do another I think no, tell a lie. He'll be back for American Idiots on uh, next Friday. So uh, you got me. Unfortunately, you have me. I know I'm not TJ, but I hope I do a good job as he does. Um so yeah, going solo today for this uh, for this watch along. So you've only just got me doing some commentary today and I'm uh, going to try stick with some commentary, you know, pay attention, do all right. But let's get into the lineups. Um yeah, Arsenal's one I'm not too happy about. Well, there's only two players I'm not too happy about. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly zoom out here so you guys can see fully. Line up like so. That should be good. We've got David Rea in goal. Ben White, uh, Gabriel Saliba. Perfect. Zinchenko. Now, Brighton, listen, they're not they're not the biggest threatening team this season. This this they're in ninth currently, 51 goals scored, 46 conceded. Um, but I don't know, man. You know, Zinchenko is the type of player I expect to play against Luton. We're going to be attacking. Or, or, or you know, the, the teams that we're, we're, we're going to be attacking. Listen, I, I expect to be attacking today. But I don't know why. I don't know what Zinchenko done to warrant him playing today. I don't I don't get it. Whether Arteta is resting Kivior or Tomiassi for Bayern Munich, which I'd respect. But I'd like to think that they'd be playing anyway. So I hope Zinchenko doesn't let us down today because that Adangara... Um, I don't know. I think I think Ben White might be dealing with him first, but he is a fast, fast player, and especially with Lamptey as well, very fast. So there's going to be a lot of tracking back. Obviously, a Stupin Yan and Ciso. He's a great player as well uh, for uh, for Brighton. So our fullbacks, I think, are going to have a lot of tracking back to do today. And of course, we know what Zinchenko can be like with tracking back. He can be really, really crap. So fingers crossed, he can keep up and. Not make it too many errors. But listen, he's been put in the team, so fingers crossed Arteta knows what he's doing. Uh, it's a normal midfield of Declan Rice, Jorginho and Odegaard. Um, happy with that. Really happy with that. Um, makes sense. I, I, they've obviously been really solid for us recently. And our attack of Saka, who has returned uh, from injury. Uh, Havertz and Gabriel Jesus, who I'm just not happy about whatsoever. I, I'm going to be honest, I think Gabriel Jesus is dross. I don't think he's good whatsoever for Arsenal anymore. I'm, I'm done with him. I've seen enough and I'm like, do you know what? There's not even a point in you playing because you don't even bother shooting. So listen, I don't think he'll be that effective today, but we'll see. Hopefully he makes me eat my words. And uh, yeah, I'd rather Martinelli. I don't know why Martinelli's not starting or I'd rather Trossard. 
it's beyond me why none of them are starting. But hey, listen, it's Arteta's choice. So listen, if it lets them down today, I know who I'm going to be going for. Uh, let's look at the quick look at the Brighton team. I think it's a normal team for them. Uh, for Brugge and Goal, who's been very decent for them this season. He's not been too bad. Obviously, Tarek Lamptey, very fast. Uh, Van Heck and Lewis Dunk. Lewis Dunk has been on a poor run of form recently. So fingers crossed we can go ahead and take advantage of that, uh, especially for England. Oh, Jesus Christ. Poor, I never want to see him in an England shirt again. Never. Uh, Stupinian at left back. A left back I personally rate. I've always wanted him at Arsenal. I think Stupinian is a fantastic left back. Very, very underrated. Uh, Belieber and Moder in midfield. With have been so gro- uh, I don't know whether it's pronounced Grob or Gross. Uh, or, I don't know how it's pronounced. It's a bit of a weird name to pronounce, but I'm going to go with Gross. I know there's, I know there's a different pronunciation, but I probably messed it up there. Uh, Adingra. Not Adingara. Adingra, sorry. That's how I pronounced it earlier. Great player. Great player. I watched him against Liverpool. He... He made so much work for that Liverpool defence. It's a shame he couldn't get on the end of anything, uh, but he was great. So he's one player to look out for today. And of course, Arsenal legend, <laughs> Danny Welbeck, is uh, in the uh, in the striker position for Brighton. Uh, quickly look at the bench. Uh, where is the bench? Here it is. Uh, they've got Lana, Ansu Fati, uh, Pupion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce that. Bjorn Anote. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Igor, uh, obviously still the backup goalkeeper. João Pedro, Veltman, Barco, and that is the bench for Brighton. So it's not, they haven't got that many options. Obviously, Ansu Fati is all right. Hasn't had a great season whatsoever. João Pedro is one to look out for. I think that this Igor fella is not too bad, you know. He's not too bad. I kind of rate him a little bit. Uh, when he, where he's played at left back and centre back. He's been a bit if, but some maybes. I'll get to the comments in a sec, guys. Obviously, we've got Ramsdale, Eddie Nketiah, Dross, uh, Smith Rowe. Fair play to him. Had a good game against uh, against Luton. Fingers crossed he gets some minutes today. Fabio Vieira, no point. Martinelli should be playing. Kivior should be playing. Uh, or Well, listen, these four, why they got picked over Zinchenko and Jesus is beyond me. I don't know if you guys agree with me in the chat. I, I don't get why these four weren't picked, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, and Thomas Partey as well, uh, who was a bit iffy against, uh, against Luton. But hey, listen, He's on the bench, and in my opinion, Jorginho and uh, Jorginho and Rice and Odegaard are the best pairing we've got as of now. You never know; we might be rest. That's the thing. The only reason I'm thinking that we've not played Martinelli, uh, Trossard, Kivio, or Tomiyasu is because we're saving them for Bayern Munich. Big up to Sheik. Welcome in, bro. Hope you hope you are, brother. Please, please win tomorrow. Screw you, Mike Doss. Now, big up, Mike. Uh, he's not here today. It might be. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I got, to, I got a bit of a, a bit of a slap for that. Uh, but we moved, we moved, we moved. Uh, big up, to, big up to Dow. Big up to Jaminio. Hope you're doing well, brother. Two uh, nil. That's what I've gone for as well. I've gone for a two nil loss. I think we're gonna keep another clean sheet. I believe if Ray gets another clean sheet today, he's the first Spanish goalkeeper in the Premier League to get five consecutive clean sheets. So fingers crossed he can get that today. Yeah, I agree. I just like Marlene and Tross, and Tross on the left as well. Uh, the managers are walking out. The players are walking out. Um, so we're about to kick off in a minute. Turn my volume just a little bit. I hope you guys... I don't think you guys can hear the volume if I turn up a bit. Um, but yeah, big up to everyone. 12 likes. Smash them. Keep smashing them. 4 nil from Dow. Confident. I respect it. 28 people inside. If you're watching on Twitter... By the way, we've got 21 people on Twitter. If you're watching on Twitter, come over to the channel, subscribe, and have a chat over here. Uh, Sheik's gone for 2-0 as well. Um, yeah, listen, Brighton can get goals, but I don't want to be conceding to them today. The only person I think, and it's, it's not me pointing names or, you know, pointing fingers, but I think Zinchenko is going to be one of the reasons we concede today, even in all honesty. But, um, yeah, the team are doing their team huddle now. We're going to kick off. We've already probably kicked off now, to be fair, but I know I'm behind. So, um, try and, I'm going to try and say, if I can bring we get a ticker up. Hold on, give me two seconds, guys. I'm gonna hope we don't get any spoilers in this game because if, if you guys if you guys can hold back from putting the scoreline in the chat, I'd really really appreciate it because I am gonna be behind unfortunately due to uh, this this uh, streaming this stream I've got. It's uh, always gonna be behind whenever I'm on my laptop. So let's put this on right now. Does that look alright? That looks alright. We'll go for that. Let me actually let me uh, let me add a couple more bits and pieces. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me turn off my notifications on my phone. Because that would be fun. Uh, right, let's reload this because it should have kicked off now. And it has. We're underway. 
Ryan v Arsenal. Come on, Arsenal. I've gone for a 2 0 today. I don't expect any. I, I, I want to keep a clean sheet. And I really do think we can go ahead and beat uh, Brighton today. I really do think we can. Uh, and I think we're about to kick off on my stream here because, of course, I'm behind. Shock. <laughs> um, right, we'll go ahead and get that sorted. And we have taken the knee on mine, and then we're about to kick off. Uh, hold on. Bang, we've kicked off. David Raya shoots out. Let's go. Come on, you Arsenal. Come on, Arsenal. Come on. This is massive, and I pray to God if 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 United chic, if United get a result tomorrow, God bless you because we need that more than anything. Uh, but we kicked off now. Uh, <laughs> screw you, Scott. Screw you. Uh, okay, cool. See you later, Jimino. Uh, hope you enjoy the game. Fingers crossed, it's a good performance. Uh, Scott's high again. Uh, yeah. Uh, Connor, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and working with you. Yeah, AJ, likewise, man. You, you're a hard grafter. Listen, at the end of the day, AJ, you don't have to be doing this. You don't have to be you know, in every chat you're in. You don't have to be putting in people's channels. You don't have to be shouting out everything, but you do. And you're a very hard worker and you're a big part of this community. So big up to you, uh, big up to you, AJ, every single time, man. You're a great guy. And big up to Johnny. Come on, you gunners. Come on. Got a free kick here from Odegaard. Oh, no. Played late. Um, I'm so behind. It's actually ridiculous. Let me see if I can. Uh, Oh, went wide there from, was that Gabrielle? It was. I've seen, I, so I saw a, um, over here in the UK, we've got obviously Sky Sports doing a little tier list thing today. Um, and it showed um, they were doing old best, 10 best centre-backs in the league this season. And listen, I love Gabrielle and Saliba, right? But Gabrielle, in my opinion, this season, tops, um, tops Saliba. I just think he does. And that's nothing against Saliba. No, no way. They've both been as great as each other. But Gabrielle has just topped it for me. And they put Saliba over Gabriel, and I, th I just feel like some rival fans don't appreciate Gabriel enough, man. I really do. I think because the fact Saliba's younger, you know, French, I just I feel like people sort of think he's gonna, the better player, if that makes sense. And it, it, listen, they're both as good as each other, but for this season, Gabriel tops him, in my personal opinion. Um, let me quickly go ahead and do that. Right, I'm about about forty seconds behind, so fingers crossed that doesn't. Uh, if it doesn't affect anything, but do like and subscribe, people. Would really, really appreciate it. If we do win today, we go top uh, for today. Obviously, tomorrow depends with uh, United and Liverpool. Um, I've heard people say United could get a could get a win. Obviously, last time they played each other uh, in the FA Cup, they got the win. So uh, hey, listen, we'll wait and see. I, I, fingers crossed. I really, I really do hope we can. I really hope we can. Um, but yeah. Brian on the attack here. And CISO trying to get past Ben White. Blocked and it's out for very bright in the corner. Okay, I'll quickly go ahead and move this down a little bit. There we go. I don't know why it's like that. I wish I could uh fuzz zoom it out a bit more, maybe. Yeah, that's probably better. Uh is it? I don't know actually. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe if I can, if I can find a better one. Uh, hold on. What if I zoom in on this? Does this one look a bit better? Uh, not too much. We'll go with that. Should we do that? Does that look a bit more better? It looks a bit better. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. 62% win probability. We've got to win this game, man. Listen, all respects to Brian, we've got to be beating them. The only thing with Brian is their home record is so much better than their away record. Um, it might, I think, I, I think that's correct. Um, it should be anyway, but, um, yeah, good clearance there from Gabriel from earlier. Went back to a stupid Yan. Yeah, no, it was good. I think, oh, Georgina had a bit of a clash there. Um, that's the thing. If he does go off, if Georgina does go off, I'm not too fussed if party, uh, if party comes on. It's just, he looked a little, I mean, to be fair, I saw the stats actually. Scott, you're a fraud. This is, this is, this just isn't true, man. It isn't true whatsoever. Um, but, you know, for me personally, um, it's, it's good to have someone like Party on the bench because it's sort of like quality with quality because I think Jimmy, not Jimino, sorry, Jorginho has been has been good so far this like second half of the season. But I don't know. I saw I, I saw a stat. Party had like 91% pass accuracy against Luton. Um, but I don't know. I just I feel like he still looked a bit underwhelming for me personally. But um, maybe that's just me. I don't know. 
Jorginho's walking off, but he's going to come straight back on, I believe. I think it's like a little bit of a knock there. Um, we don't need him injured, that's for sure, especially against Bayern Munich, because I'd actually personally start him against Bayern Munich on Tuesday. I can't believe it. I, do you know what? It, in, in no respect to obviously the Europa League teams, because obviously we've been smashed up the Europa League so many times, it feels so weird that we're going to go ahead and play... Um, we're going to go ahead and play a a massive team in Europe because it's been, the last time, and again, I'm no disrespect to the Europa League teams. I mean, probably actually, the, probably the last big team we played in Europe, away from obviously uh, English teams, i.e., when we played Chelsea in the Europa League final, it was probably at Let's Go Madrid in the first season we were in the Europa League uh, with Wenger uh, crossing there from Brighton. They got nothing out of it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was probably that, but. Before that, it was Bayern. And so, but listen, Bayern dropped points again today. 3-2. They've bottled a 2-0 lead, I believe. Um, these guys are there for the taking, man. I swear to God. And listen, people will say, you know, Bayern are, you know, they're all legs in one basket for the Champions League, which is obviously fair enough. I believe it's the only competition they're now in. Um, but, God, man, these guys are there for the taking. I'm being serious. I, I really am. Um, I think we can go ahead and beat them, especially at home. I think if we can get maybe a a 2-0 at home. Um, and do you know what, right? And this is how confident I am, you know. We played City twice, right, in the uh, in the league. And we shut out Haaland both times. I think if we do that with Harry Kane, they're going to be screwed. Um, I really do think they are. So if we keep our defensive form, but we do go offensive, I do believe we're gonna, we can go ahead and beat them. I really do. But I, do, I don't think it'll be like a, a 4-1 or an aggregate, you know, like a big score. It'll be a close aggregate. In, in in both for the both games, but I do think we're gonna edge it. But semi-finals are a bit iffy. Gabriel though with a mistake. Good recovery. He did flatter. He did uh yeah, he did absolutely take down uh, Danny Welbeck there, but no foul was given. Declan Rice having to go to the left back position to cover for Zinchenko. Shock. I would have got oh that's a bad kick from Raya. Come on, Arsenal, we gotta get back into this man. No stupid mistakes. Zinchenko back to Raya. Raya rolls it straight out. Come on, let's get the intensity on, guys. Go on, Declan. Rice has just been so good. He's been so good. He's just... I, I, I generally... Listen, it might be Arsenal agenda. For me, he's the best DM in the league. I don't care what anyone tells me. I think he's, fan I think he's absolutely fantastic. He's so, so good. So, so good. Um, big up to the eight people inside. 13 likes. Please do keep smashing the likes if you haven't already and do subscribe if you're new on the road to 1k. Let's get it, people. Um, let me quickly put in the chat. Oh, Jesus tried to turn there, but it didn't work. Um, no, Scott, I, I think, no, Rodri is a DM, but I think it's just Arsenal agenda, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just my opinion. Adangara, Adangara, sorry, is on the run here to Lamptey. See what I mean with pace, man? Shoots, it's over, way over, Rose Ed. See, it's what I mean. They're going to counter and they're, and they're going to create something out of it. They are. They are. So we see how far Zinchenko is. Is and he tried to. I don't know why he tried to go ahead and press Lamptey. And look, absolutely left in no man's land. And Jorginho, who isn't the fastest player, has to recover for Zinchenko. This is why I prefer Kivio or, or Tommy Asu. They're always back. And don't get me wrong, I do like I do like an attacking left back, but these guys are so fast on the wing. I don't know why we put Zinchenko there. I really don't. And the fact we've got a pairing of Zinchenko and. Uh, and Jesus, it doesn't it doesn't give me too much hope, in all honesty. Uh, let's go with Joel Black was on something. Yeah, bro, AJ, that game was oh, it was it was a dagger. It was an honest dagger when we when we went out. We were gonna because we were gonna play. I think it was Marseille in the final. And I swear to God, if we um, if we beat Madrid, I think we would have beat Marseille in the final. I really do think we would have because obviously Madrid went on ahead and won it that season. I believe they did. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a shame because I really do think we could have won that Europa League that first season. But hey. It is what it is. Yeah, no, Steve's, Steve's already said he's not confident. I think Steve's going to be here, by the way, for that game on Tuesday with the watch on with me. So, um, 
yeah, do make sure you guys tune in for that. That's going to be a massive game. Massive, massive game. I'm going to be, I'm going to be like on my edge of my seat. And it's only the first leg as well. Uh, for me, Roger is well clocked. No, I, listen, for me, in my opinion, um, uh, AJ, I've already said it. You've got to be, you've got to, you've got to achieve multiple things to be world class. In my opinion, you've got to be a main part of a squad. And obviously, Roger has been that. And obviously, the treble winners and obviously seasons upon seasons of Premier League titles. Um, Declan Ross has won the European trophy. And in my opinion, he led West Ham to that European trophy. He was one of the main reasons. Uh, but let Declan Rice you know, continue his career. And if he continues to win more trophies, hopefully with Arsenal, he um, he could become world-class. Um, yeah, that's all good. That's all good to last, mate. Uh, afternoon, Arsenal, Manic. Hope you're all good, bro. What's your prediction for today, man? I uh, pick up Hannah. Hope you're all good, mate. Do me a favour, take points off Brighton. Yeah, of course. You're in the, uh, the top 10 race, aren't you, Hannah? And I pick up, man, every single time. Great win for, for Chelsea. Insane win. Cole Palmer, man, he's, he's something different. He, uh, he is something different. And I've captained him in my FPL because obviously you guys got Sheffield tomorrow. So, because obviously it doesn't really bother us. Fingers crossed you go ahead and get a uh, a result. You should be beating Sheffield. I went for a 2-1 though because I, I just don't know about Chelsea. Chelsea are always like hit and miss. You either score like a load of goals or you'll just score like barely any. So, uh, so yeah. We'll wait and see. Uh, Arsenal Manic 1 0 or 2 1. I've gone for a 2 0 Arsenal Manic. Um, but that was before I found out we had Jesus and Zinchenko in the lineup. Um, been a bit of a slow start so far, but we're not doing too bad. Um, go ahead and quickly put my phone on charge. Hold on. Saka here, cutting inside, shoots. How have you not scored? Oh my god! How have you not scored that man? He was offside. Oh no, he wasn't. He wasn't offside. Oh, that's like his. That's like his position. Oh, how did he not score that man? Oh, my days. You're here for fraudulence, aren't you, Scott? You're here for fraudulence, man. I'm telling you. He should have scored that. Saka again. Jesus. Oh, what a save. What a save. This guy. And this is what I mean, man. People are comparing Palmer to, to, to Saka, right? Oh, yeah, your Palmer's better than Saka. Listen, Palmer's had a fantastic season and he's absolutely carrying Chelsea on his back, right? But this is this is, this is the whole hype stuff. And don't get me wrong, Saka ain't been great this season, right? But I just, I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. I, I think they're both as great as each other currently. Um, overall, I think Saka's a better player, but it is what it is. And Palmer should get a call up to England, by the way, for the Euros, 100%. But then again, you got uh, Bowen as well. So I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, though, I'll take, I'll take Palmer over Bowen any day. Jesus crosses it in. To be fair, from Jesus, that was a great shot. So fair play to him. And I've criticised him for his attack and not shooting. And he actually shot. So fair play to him. That was just a great save from Bruggen earlier. It's been cleared. It's recovered. Come on. Keep our attacking flow going. Give him some pressure. Come on. <laughs> You're such a troll, Scott. You're such a troll, man. You know damn well Brennan Johnson wouldn't have scored that. Yeah, not Asia. It's true, man. They would, they would be that far out. Cole Palmer is is saving Chelsea, man. And fair play to him. He's doing a great job. He's a really good player. I bet City are just regretting they sold him now. And for forty million as well. I mean, imagine how much he's worth now. Saka. To... You can see how much... Ah, oh, Ben White, that's poor, man. Um, you can see Odegaard is much better when Saka's next to him. They just flow off each other so much easier. Um, but when he's with uh, Nelson, who I like Nelson, by the way. I really do. Um, I, I honestly would keep him as a bench player. You know, I, I, I personally like him. I think he always puts in 110%. Obviously, you can get better, obviously. Um, 
if we could get a better right winger, I would I would definitely go for it. His Havertz. Um, but I like Nelson, man. I do. Jesus, wide, way wide. Listen, he's trying, man. Fair play to Jesus, man. He's trying. He's trying. Oh, you get injured. Oh, man. I didn't even know that. That is a massive hit for West Ham if that's the case. I didn't even realize that, man. He did. Yo, that's a big miss. That could screw over West Ham. Do you know what? My predictions today have been really, really bad. Um, I predicted the Man City win. I went for a Aston Villa win. And then they bottled that. Fair play to Brentford with a great comeback. Really good comeback. I predicted the Everton win. That was all right. I predicted the Newcastle win. That was all right. I predicted the, I predicted the draw for Luton Bournemouth. It was obviously a 2 1 to Luton. Great win for them in the 90th minute. Um, and I predicted the Wolves win. And West Ham stole that. So 50 uh, 50. I'm not doing too, too great. But um, yeah. Arsenal Manic, I don't think they'd sack him. Well, he's, he's already confirmed that he's leaving at the end of the season. So I think they're just going to stick with him. They know the title's gone. So unless he wins the Champions League, which obviously he has experience in with Chelsea, um, I don't see uh I don't see why they sack him now, in all honesty. And even though he has he deserves to be sacked, but he's gonna be going at the end of the season either way. So here's a Dingra. Look how good he is, man. He shoots, it's wide. To be fair, TK, big up to TK. Hope you're well, bro. Uh, Jesus actually hasn't been too bad. Zinchenko's worried me, man. He's, he's worried me massively because I look the way he just gets spun so easily by uh, Adingra. Stick a leg out, man. Just stick a leg out. I hate when. Right. This is a little pet peeve of mine, right? And I don't, I don't know if you guys agree with this. When you're one on one, so a fullback is one on one with a winger, yeah? I don't know whether it's just Arsenal. I don't know what it is, right? They never stick out a leg. And listen, you may want to follow them back. You know, you're constantly following them back. When you're making them get closer and closer and closer to the box, I'd smash into him. As Roy Keane says, just smash into someone. You know, I hate the fact that Zinchenko has done it there. And Ben White is guilty of it as well. Conti going back and back and back and back, never sticking a leg out. It's so annoying. And Zinchenko should have done that. Zinchenko was just leading him in, waiting for him to use his left foot, shoot in the back of the net. I'm telling you, man. Austin Manic, I agree. If we were to play him in midfield, he'd be as free as a bird. He wouldn't have to worry about nothing, right? I don't understand why Arteta has to consistently use him in the left-back position. I just I just don't get it. I really don't. If you want to drop Jorginho, put Rice in the DM and put, which I don't, which I wouldn't personally like, but if you want to facilitate Zinchenko and then put Zinchenko in Rice's position, he has all that free space on the left-hand side. But you know what's kind of crazy? Ukraine dropped him. Ukraine dropped him for his, for their qualification game to, to the Euros. Their own captain, they dropped him. So even they know he ain't that great. And that was in the mid that was in his midfield position, you know. So hey, listen, I don't know, man. It's Havertz. Ball was won by Lewis Dunk. That was poor. Could get on the end of it there. But no, I agree, Arsenal Malik, man. I, I, I think he's a liability. He's already been caught out twice this game. Jorginho's had to had to clean up for him, man. Good recovery there from Sinchenko, to be fair. I'm not gonna rip into Sinchenko fully. I'm not. But I just personally don't like him in the left back position as, as much as you guys don't, you know. Big up to the 36 people inside. Uh, 25 people on Twitter. If you're watching on Twitter, come over to the channel, TJ Warren TV, uh, and come show your support, man. Really, really appreciate it. Brian will be giving a foul there. Ben White crashing into a stupid Yan. I, that's the left back I take at Arsenal. A stupid Yan. What do you guys think? Would you take a stupid Yan at Arsenal? Because I personally would. Are you guys annoyed that. Um, Give your Tomiyasu, Martinelli, or Trossard. Uh, by the way, I'm going to throw this question out, guys. Do you think that Martinelli, Trossard, um, Give your and Tomiyasu aren't playing today? Because the, one of the, the four out of the two, the two out of the four of them are going to play for, against Bayern. Let me know. Because I don't know whether Arteta is just playing these guys so they're fully fit for Bayern, which is understandable. I can understand that. But. You know, we can't be taking risks in either of these competitions. We just can't. At the end of the day, these guys <laughs> are professional, fully paid footballers. They shouldn't need breaks. They shouldn't. They really shouldn't. They should be at full fitness, obviously, unless they have an injury. Um, I, I don't know. So I'd be very curious to understand uh, why they are, they're, they're benched, especially Martinelli and Trossard. I think that's crazy, man. 
Personally, I would want either Brighton left back or Mitchell from Palace. He's a good left back. Yeah, no, I rate him. Personally, Rico Henry, I think, is a great attacking fullback. Um, you know, we talk about we want overlapping runners. Um, I, I think that um, Rico Henry's great. I think he's so fast. He's so, so good. Just unfortunately, he had an injury. Uh, here's Havertz in the box. Saka, Odegaard, shoots, block, and it's a corner. Big up to Hugo. Trying to do my best TJ impression there. A big up, Connor. Free one Arsenal. Come on, you're going to smash those likes, people. Exactly. If Hugo says smash those likes, you got to smash those likes. Uh, big up to Hugo every single time. I've gone for a 2 0, Hugo. I want to keep it up a clean sheet. You know, uh, you never know. Goal difference may play a part. I'm in the season. You never know. So uh, always keep your eye out on the goal difference. Because um, Liverpool are catching us up. They are. They really are. All right, corner here for Arsenal. About to be taken. Saka, first man. No. Oh, unlucky. Is that a fiasco goal kick? Who was that? Gabriel again. Shame. Big up to Ben Kauf Kaufman. Thanks how you pronounce it. Big up, Ben. Welcome in, bro. Uh, I don't know if you're new or not, uh, but welcome in, man. Hope you're all well. Do smash a like if you haven't already. Uh, Supinyan for me. Take him off the full-time whistle. Yeah, I think he's great, man. I think he's great, Hugo. I think he's a really good fullback. Um, unfortunately, by the way, guys, there's going to be no match reaction today because I do need to hop off. Um, so we won't see anyone. Dow may hop in towards the end of the game, uh, but I've got to be I've got to be somewhere. So I think sadly I'm not going to be here for the match reaction. Um, but Tuesday there'll be full content, Bayern Munich watch along, and the match reaction. So uh, there'll be full content then. Just unfortunately, I cannot do it today. Uh, so I hope you guys are okay with that. Jesus, good recovery there from uh, Danny Welbeck. I believe that was uh, who was that. My bad, it was Balbea. Um, or Baliba, I don't know how you pronounce it, sorry. Um, we've got a free kick there. Yeah, Aston Villa next week, 4.30, Super Sunday. What's your, what's your thoughts on, uh, what's your predictions, guys, for Aston Villa? Because obviously they drew today at home to Brentford. Um, and, and Brentford haven't been great recently, you know, in all honesty. You know, they, they, haven't, been a great, they haven't been a great side to play, uh, to, to see play, sorry. But they got a fantastic comeback today. So that gives me a little bit of hope. And we know Aston Villa's away record hasn't been great compared to the home record. So do you guys think that's going to be an easy win against Aston Villa? Um, I don't think it'll be easy, but I think we can get the win 100%. Obviously, they beat us earlier on in the season as well. 1-0. Uh, Good ball in there to Zinchenko, but he's not going to reach that. Ah, shame. <laughs> I've just seen the profile picture the infamous mod Barbie you'll find me around big up Ben man every single time every single time big up to you bro hope you're all well Oh, good flick there from Danny Welbeck. Oh, my God. Here's a Dingra. Straight into Raya's hands. Flipping hell. Uh, Connor, I was speaking to Steve. We can get Jonathan David for 35 million euros this summer if we can't get Tony or Watkins. Do you know what? Right, actually, I was having a bit of a thought, AJ. I don't know if I... Well, I really made this on, my, on the last stream, but I don't think I want Tony anymore. You know, I've watched him for Brentford. Listen, Brentford... We obviously have a better attack than Brentford. We've got probably more creative options than Brentford. Um, so maybe that's the reason why Tony hasn't scored. But Tony hasn't scored in the league since the 15th of February. And does, doesn't that worry you a little bit? You know, we obviously know he was on absolute fire last season. Oh, my God, it's great football. Ah, oh, and tackled. Um, obviously, we know last season he was really good for Brentford. But this season, and I don't know he obviously was, he was away during, uh, obviously, because he had his ban. But... I don't know he just hasn't looked great, and the fact he hasn't scored in over a month in the league a month well, coming up to nearly two months soon, it's not looking great. And I don't know if I want him, I'd rather have Watkins because Watkins is on so much fire right now, it's ridiculous. But apparently, we're, we're leading the race for, for Gokarez, is that how you pronounce it from Sporting? So, or, or that Sesco guy, I personally don't want that Sesco guy. I don't, I, I want Arsenal someone with Premier League experience. I just think it makes sense. I don't know about you guys, 
But to be fair, like, you know, I look at Darwin Nunes, you know, he was bought in for a lot of money. And he's been, he's been good for Liverpool, don't get me wrong. But for that amount of money, you know, has he been that great? I don't know. I don't know. I'm about a minute and a half behind, guys, by the way. So I think if you if there's no if you can do no spoilers, I really, really appreciate it. Zinchenko, Raya. What's going on here? Lamptey's been taken down by Raya. I don't think there's a foul there. I like to think there's no foul there. Oh, that's got nothing there. Yeah, Raya's got nothing to do with that. Yeah, Ben, listen, I, I just, I, and that's another thing I don't know about Aussie men. Don't get me wrong. As I said, last season, he was fantastic. And obviously in Napoli's, in Napoli's run to the, uh, to the, to the title. But I don't know. Obviously this season he's had his injuries. He's not been obviously on the top, on, a, on his, on his top form, sorry, this season. I don't know if we should risk it for that much money. I just think someone like an Ollie Watkins would work for Arsenal. Simple, just a decent signing, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. That that's just me though. I I'd rather have someone like him. But um, he's an Arsenal fan as well. Um, can, can I be so honest though? I think Arsenal could get any striker, obviously apart from like Mbappe or something like that. But you know what I mean. I think we've got enough pull to bring them in. And if we win this title, boy oh boy, I think we can sign whoever we want in the striker position. I really do think that. So but I just hope Arsenal do the right business. And scout the right player because we know how. Oh, David Raya, come on, man! Not this passing around the back stuff. That's Ramsdale stuff. We don't want to be doing that. I haven't been impressed so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, we've been controlling it more than Brighton. We've had chances. Don't get me wrong. We've had chances, but I don't know. Been a little bit, couple of mistakes. So uh, and and Brighton are being very physical. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, not too sure about this one so far. I'm not too sure. Um, also, I've no players of lightning pace. Yeah, I think the only one that really we've, yeah, I was gonna say Martinelli, um, is, is pretty quick. Um, yeah, I don't really know who else we've got. That was really, it's probably it. I mean, I think Trossard's pretty quick. I like to think he's pretty fast. I mean, do you remember when Bellerin before he got his, um, do you, when, <laughs> do you remember when Ben got his uh, not Ben? Do you remember when Bellerin? Sorry, got his uh, his injury before his injury. He was rapid. He was so quick, and um, yeah, now he's just sort of um, he, after his injury, he just sort of just completely lost his pace. And um, but yeah, he. I remember he was like, I think he was the last Arsenal player that was like one of the fastest in the league, or he you know he was the fastest in the league. Um, he was so quick. Oh my god, he was rapid. Um, also, Manic, we need to see more of Havertz, man. He's a big dude. Throw your size around. <laughs> Saka's been shit too. Yeah, Saka ain't been great. He ain't, he ain't been great. His, his, his corners have been good, actually. I normally criticize Saka for his corners, but um, no, he's he, no, yeah, he's, he's been pretty poor. Uh, I can't recall the last time Saka gave us a top performance. I mean, the fact I have to think about it probably, probably shows. Um, I definitely do think that we need to bring in a form of winger who can play left or right. It doesn't matter because I think, you know, Martinelli can have some stinkers now and then that just needs to compete with them. You know, show them that I can take your space. And Trossard's a bit like that, but someone younger, a little bit younger, you know, I, I think we need to definitely have a look at that in the summer. But with how Arsenal spend their money, I have a funny feeling we're going to go all out for a striker. And then... I don't know if we're going to have enough to go for like a, a good winger. Um, I think it's weird actually. I'm curious to see, guys, if you had three main positions target in the summer, who would you go for? Let me know. Biggest of the 40 people inside. Uh, hope you're all well. Do smash a like if you're if you're new. If you're sorry, if you're if you're just coming in, and do subscribe if you're new. That's what I meant to say. Jesus to Jorginho to Havertz back to Jorginho. Nothing again, man. Listen, Brighton ain't playing a low... This referee is pissing me off now. Uh, Brighton aren't playing a low block, but they're defending very, very well. Very well. 100% AJ. He's Everyone's got to turn up Tuesday, especially people like Havertz. And even... Listen, I know Rice is going to turn up because Rice is Rice. But 
you know, we talk about big games and believe, you know, the, the Rashford believe, but I swear to God, no, if we don't, if there's one game where you don't want to be a bunch of pussies, it's this game, Bayern Munich. You've got to turn up. And listen, Bayern Munich have been trash this season. They've been dross. But I'm not going to take them lightly because it's Bayern Munich and we know what they're we know what they're capable of, right? But you've got to turn up, especially at home. And we've all we've already we've all said, and I do, and it's true. If we don't get a res, if we don't win at the at the Emirates, there's not we're going to be absolutely full of the Allianz. I think we're going to be able to compete at the Allianz, i.e., keep our ground and probably keep them out. But you've got to go to the Allianz with a uh, a scoreline which we're up in. Whether it's a two 0 or two one, you've just got a hundred percent. Because if you've got to go to the Allianz fighting for a, for a goal, I'm not too sure. Jorginho, we're trying, but this back line of, of Brighton is 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 big. It's uh, there's about six players in their box currently, so I think we're going to try hard to break them down here. Gabriel. Saliba. There's no one in the middle. How are we going to break them down? Ball to Jesus. Come on. Fact, there's a penalty. Penalty. Yes. Come on. Come on. Right. Put Saka on this. I'll put Saka on this every day of the week. Don't put Jesus on it. Put, put Saka on it. Striker, right wing, and left wing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Buying a dreadful. Uh, you'll get past them and Tottenham get Champions League football cheers. That's... <laughs> oh, Ben, I didn't realise you're a Tottenham fan. I didn't realise. I did not realise. I thought you were Arsenal. My bad, mate. That's probably an insult that I said you're Arsenal. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much uh, I don't know how much about Timber, hence I don't... Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, ben, guys, if you can, don't tell me if it's a goal just yet because I, I I might have to... Hide. Actually, no, don't worry. I'll hide the chat. It's all right because I am behind. Uh, yeah, maybe but have votes on it. A bit of confidence. I don't know. Would you put Saka on it? I think Saka might be the guy to go on it. I'm going to quickly hide the chat so I don't get spoiled. Um, but I know you guys want to spoil it anyway. Uh, okay, right. Who are they going to put on it? That's Paul there from Brighton, but that's massive. I think it looks like Odegaard's going to take it. And he is. Okay, don't screw this one up, Odegaard. I have hidden the chat just for now, guys, just so I can't see. Because uh, I'm, I'm about a minute and a half behind. So, uh, yeah. Are they checking it again? Oh, Saka is taking it. He's taking it off Odegaard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't miss this, Saka. Don't miss this, please. Don't miss this. He scored his last five. I'm not looking at the scoreline or anything on my on my main screen. I'm not. Come on. Come on, Saka. Running up. Shoots. Come on! Come on! That's it! Star boy! Come on now! Come on now! Come on! Oh, come on. That's it. 1-0. Keep it going, Arsenal. Come on. Massive. Top of the league, baby. Top of the league. Don't know why Google's taking that off. Back from the logo. Bang. Come on, Arsenal. Things you love to see. He is Ben. He's a really great guy. Really great guy, is TJ. Probably, do you know what? I'm not just saying this because I work with him. TJ is probably one of the most friendliest guys I've met in this whole... YouTube scene. Seriously. Nicest guy ever. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to ask you, Connor. Would you bring Timber, uh, Timber's twin, this summer? Because according to uh, Steve, he's ready to be a squad player. Plus, he can play 6, 8, and 10 if needed. Is that... I can't remember his first name. Um, it slipped my mind. Yeah, he looks all right. I think I've seen a couple of uh, a couple of clips of him um, playing, I think, is it for Fine Lord? Um, yeah, he looks decent, man. He looks decent. So um, I 100% would uh, would take him at Arsenal. Um, I think they're both as good as each other. Uh, cold Saka doesn't quite have this. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't doesn't really Arsenal Manic. Uh, yeah, my star boy. Listen, man, I hope that does wonders for his confidence. I really hope it does. And uh, hopefully he puts in a bit of a better performance now. Uh, Quinton, that was it. Quinton. Thanks, AJ. 
Uh, it was cold, though. It was cold from take, 100%. Uh, right. Oh, crap. There's a Dingra. One-on-one -on -one with Zinchenko. Spins him. He's a good player, this guy, man. He's not bad. Shoots it straight to Danny Welbeck. And it's gone back, and it's a foul for Brighton, man. Oh, damn. We've got ribs cooking next door right now in the kitchen. I love I love barbecue ribs, and it's making me so hungry. <laughs> so straight after this game, I'm going to munch them down and then uh, go out and do what I need to do. Absolutely starving, man. Uh, yeah, Ben, I agree, man. Uh, ben, do you think you're beating Nottingham Forest tomorrow? I don't know if you're like Ange and Ange out. I don't really know your take on it. So do you reckon you're going to beat Forest tomorrow? I've personally put you down for a 2-1 win against Forest. And I wouldn't be surprised if Brennan Johnson scores. I don't think he's going to start, but I reckon he'll score against... Uh, I can just sense it. Don't know why. And by the way, guys, is it Pascal Gross or Pascal Grob? Because I've seen two different pronunciations and I don't know which one it is. So, uh... He's taking a free kick here. Taken. Good clear. Is that Gabriel again? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Don't know why. G Gabriel has been fantastic so far, guys. He's been so good. Oh, here he is. So, as you guys know, I've actually taken over the channel. TJ's no longer coming back. So, this actual profile picture will be changed soon. I'm going to be running two channels. So TJ's actually been taken out of his own position. I don't think that's TJ every single time. Uh, TJ, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good time um, with your vacation, bro. Um, so yeah, hope you're all well, man. And obviously the chat loves you just as much as uh, just as much as we do. Big up to 11 people inside. Smash a like, subscribe. We're on the road to 1K. Come on, you know what to do. Share it around if you haven't already. And uh, yeah. Carry on showing support. Again, if you're on Twitter, we've got 25 people over on Twitter. Come over and support the channel if you are if you are new. Please do. A uh, tricky 2-0 win will get through. Ange in very leavy out. Ange's tactics are bizarre to me. I haven't voted for Yeah, do you know the, the one thing I'd say with Ange is I don't I think he's a bit too confident in terms of attacking. I, I mean he's played that high line at uh, um was it Celtic? Sorry, yeah. He's always played a high line, right? However, I just don't think it works with this Tottenham team. I don't know what it is. Maybe you need different players, but yeah, I, I see. I don't. If, if you were at home again, if they, if you were away, sorry to Forest, I think Forest could win it. But Forest's away record ain't been too great, so I think I think you'll snatch it at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Um, but you hate inverted fullbacks. That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, Quentin. Yeah, yeah, Quentin. Yeah, I'll take him, AJ. That's much question. I'll take him. Oh, thank God, Connor. That TJ fella loved to talk him. <laughs> oh, we will love TJ, man. We will love TJ. Yeah, Scott. 1-0, baby. 1-0. Hold it. Hold it. Corner here from Saka. That's taken, huh? First man. First man. Uh, that's all right. No, hit out by Verbruggen. I'm telling you, Verbruggen guy's not too bad. He's not too bad. Another foul. Oh, my God. This referee, man. What's going on? How many fouls have been given so far? I'd say it's been at least half a dozen. Oh, it doesn't show it yet. It should do later. I don't know. Ten fouls so far. Flipping hell. Currently setting up top and pretty. 71 points. If I, I will never be more of a Man United fan tomorrow. And I hate United. So I hate United with a passion. I hate them. But Jesus Christ, I had never wanted a more United win tomorrow. And do you know what? Especially that it's at Old Trafford and United won Champions League. They've got something to fight for. Foul there from Belieber. Where'd they get that Belieber guy from? Cameroonian. Oh, Leo. Fair play. Didn't even know him. Youngster. I guess he's sort of Kaiseda's replacement. Do you know what? I, don't, I think... They might as well not have even need him. I just realised Gross is in DM and Moda is in the 8 or the 10. That was a weird tackle from Lancy, man. But it was a clear penalty every single day. Clear penalty. 100%. 100%. Uh, John. 
We need to, yeah, 100. That's why I already said that's why I went for a 2 0. Or Jesus, has he done something there or is he all right? No, he looks all right. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, Arsenal Manic, 100%. Uh, Man United could beat them for one time only. We shall cheer them one, yes, one and only time. One and only time. But at the, at the end of the day, it's, you know, we, as much as obviously we, we want these teams to lose, we've got to remember that um, it's all on us. We have to win eight. We have to win every game. We have to. And, you know, I saw City today, right? And I was watching the, the 12 minute kickoff against Crystal Palace. And I, and I was on my phone to my mates. I was like texting them. And they were like, oh, City, you're losing. And I'm like, don't get excited because I know City and they're going to bring it back easily. And little do we know, they go ahead and win the game 4 2. So, um, yeah, who have they got coming up, City? Because I know people have said, you know, City have the easiest run. I think they do. Maybe Brighton could get something out of them. Yeah, I don't know who could get a result out of them. Stupin Yan's running forward, passing it to Welbeck. Welbeck gets past Saliba. Gabriel tries to clear it. He gets it to Jorginho, and it's all right. Or Havertz, even, sorry. And Saka clears. I wish I was you, AJ. I can smell ribs. I can literally smell ribs next door. It's killing me right now. So as soon as this stream ends, I'm I'm on them ribs. Like, no tomorrow. Uh, is that G as in Gabriel Magalash or, is, or Gabriel Jesus? Because I saw Gabriel Jesus was limping a bit earlier, but... I hope it's not Gabriel Magalash. Oh, crap. I hope he's not injured. Oh, he better not be fucking injured. He better not be injured. Oh, don't. No, don't. Not now. Not now. Not now. I take him off. I'll actually take him off. Anything to save him. Big up to Jesse. Uh, TJ's still on vacation, bro. He's still away. He'll be back next Friday, as in terms of streams. Unless he's doing it all, uh, it's one of those things on the Thursday, which he might do, actually. But he's fully back here. He'll be back Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you got me, Jesse. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. I don't think he's overrated. I just think I just think he's been a bit off it, in my opinion. Listen, all you guys are eating, man. You're making me hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> and uh, cheers, Ben, for tuning in, mate. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your pizza. Yeah, his ankle's a bit tweaked. I hope it's nothing serious. Personally, can I be honest? I'll take him off. I'll actually take him off. Um, when we can't risk him. And it'd be just Arsenal's luck for one of their main players to be taken out. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I don't want him injured for this game, man. I'd get uh, Tommy Asu warming up or even Kivio, if I'm going to be so honest. Or even putting Rice at centre back. I don't even care. <laughs> you're eating Jamaican belly. Bro, you're making me hungry, guys. I've only got gum. This is my food right now. That's my food. It's the annoying part about a 5 30 kickoff. It's during dinner time. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, that'll be the next excuse. 10 men down currently. Hopefully, nothing comes out of it. Van Heck, why it's reclined off him. Do not let them score. Oh my God, don't. And CISO's twisting and turning. What a save! Oh my God. Oh my God. What a save. David Raya. Oh my God. Keeping that clean sheet like no tomorrow. Love him, man. Love him. Yeah, what a save. What a save. What are the defensive stats, Jesse? Talk to me. Talk to me. It's Pascal Gross. I think he's German, right? No, nah, nothing there. And it is a free kick to Arsenal. I was offside, sorry. I'll take half time in two minutes. <clears throat> It's been a decent first half, actually. It's not been too bad. Let's have a look at the stats. Yeah, yeah, Jesse. Yeah, yeah these goals conceded. Um, I believe if Raya gets a clean sheet, he's the first Spanish goalkeeper in the Premier League to have five consecutive clean sheets, uh, which is cool. He's been great. He's really... And I, I knew, and people obviously doubted him when he first came into Arsenal's um, team. He didn't look great. 
uh, especially against, I think it was Luton, wasn't it, when, we were the, when it was the 4 3. But I said, give him time, let him cook. And um, he's been great. And I, and I sadly would sell Ramsdale in the summer just because it makes sense, unless he wants to be a second choice, which I don't think he does with England. Um, and getting into the first choice there is Ben White. Um, but yeah, and bringing someone like a Loon in. Verbruggen, I think, has been great. I personally think Verbruggen as a secondary, I think he's, I think he's good. Um, but yeah, getting a secondary that will happy play second fiddle. A uh, big up to Malia. Hope you're all well. Uh, we need two more goals. I agree. Uh, 3 1 is a better result. I'll take a 3 0. Hopefully, keep a clean sheet. Big up to the 40 people inside. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, whether you're on Twitter, uh, YouTube, or, or, or Twitch. So, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Sack has been ghosting. Habert's been running around aimlessly out of breath, zero impact. Yeah, Habert's been being too great this. Uh, his first half, I'm not going to lie. And I was praising him because he had a great assist against Luton. He had a really good assist and a great goal from Odegaard. But I don't know how we can get him involved here. It's a bit, I'm a bit torn how we can actually get him involved. I don't know whether he's just waiting to pick out a pass and get a goal. I don't know. Um, but I agree, Arsenal, man. He hasn't been too, too great. And Saka has been dealt with very easily by Nciso and the stupid Yan. Um, I don't know whether Ben White needs to overlap a bit more, whether Odegaard needs to get a bit closer to him. I, I don't know. But he is struggling a bit. Definitely. Did you guys see the news about um, how Ben White's been playing with this knee injury, apparently confirmed all season? And the Arsenal doctors are actually like, we don't know how this guy has actually played with this injury, which I find crazy. Um, Jesse, 100% the buying game, because I think we've got enough to obviously beat Brighton, fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, and obviously we've shown we're one nil up. Uh, buying 100%, you know, it's our first... I said this earlier, you, you missed out, Jesse. Um, this is our first, and no disrespect to the teams we've played prior, because obviously we've been absolutely bantered in Europe, in the, well, forever. Um, but I mean, in terms of now, um, this is our first big team we're playing in Europe since... Oh, Havertz! Oh, how are you not scoring that? That's unlucky. Seven minutes out of time, by the way. It's kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, no, um, this is our first big team we're playing since Atletico, I'd say, in terms of Europe st status in the Europa League. I'm not counting Chelsea, by the way, because, I mean, non-English team, obviously in the Europa League final, which we don't talk about. Declan Rice, nah, nothing there, cleared by Brighton. But, um, yeah, no, I'm more nervous about the Bayern game, bro. Um, but with their performance today, which was shocking in the second half, um, I think we can do it, especially at the Emirates. And we need, we need a good, we need a, we need a win at the Emirates. Done that hat well, preferably by more than two or more goals. Um, and then this is check out spun again. This is a Dingra guy is so good, he's so good. Um, but yeah, two or more goals, take it to the Allianz and defend to shit. Just do what we've done at Man City, just sit back and defend at the Emirates. We need the crowd up, we need the, we just need to have a 10 out of 10 performance at the Emirates, especially at our own ground. We don't want to be sit listen, we can sit back, but we need to be on it. We need to be going at them. And they've got injuries as well, a lot of injuries. So, um, and if we look at Harry Kane, like we have with Haaland twice, I don't see why we can't do it. But obviously in Europe, we know how bad we've been. And I'm going to say it, against Porto in those, in those two legs, we were shocking. So hopefully we pick it up against Bayern. And we were. And we, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, we were. Um, yeah, we, I think, uh, do you know what? I don't think we're too bad at the moment. I think defensively we're good. Uh, you know, we could be better. I think, you know, when Timber comes back, we've got Timber, Kivior and, and Tommy Asu. I don't think it's bad options. Midfield, yeah, I'd probably prefer, I don't know, because, uh, you know, obviously having Partey on the bench is good, even though he hasn't been great recently. I think if we sell Partey, we're we'll obviously have to bring in another midfielder like probably Zub and Mendy. But then we obviously we're left with Jorginho, so it's not great. You know, we, we've got to have a look. I think we've got to sell Fabio Vieira, get someone new in from Fabio Vieira. Um, I think we've got to get rid of Eddie Nketiah, a hundred percent up front. We need new. We need a new backup option up front. You know, there's so many options that need to be looked at. Um, there, there is, but I do agree, Jesse. There are some. There are some aspects where um, we do need to improve in our depth. Yeah. Uh, the Zerbi has these guys pulling out. Yeah, a Dingra. I swear to God. I think, they, did they get him from the Belgium League? I can't, I can't, someone correct me if I'm wrong. But he is so good. And I watched him against Liverpool and he caused that Liverpool back line problems. His uh, Havertz trying to pick out the pass of Rice. No. Ryan's defence has been great today. It's been great. It's been really, really good. 
Another foul there. Ben White shoving. Uh... Oh, no. It's carried on play. Odegaard. Pick back to Saka. I think Ben White's offside there. He crosses it in to Declan Rice. And it's offside. Why does it take them so long to do the offside flag, man? Hope we get him and replace his park abroad. Oh, are you, are you United, Jesse? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know. You, I think you're United, right? Because uh, I believe I don't believe you'd be City if you say that about Pep. Uh, so I'll obviously take that you're United. Uh, how is it embarrassing? How embarrassing is it for a Champions League team to have a team like Arsenal still in it? Shows the need to look at the setup. It's such a troll, Scott. Who have you got in the in the quarterfinals, Scott, of any European competition? Oh, you got because you're not in Europe. Yeah, because you, uh, yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, Timber. For yeah, no, I think defensively. We're, we're, we're all right defensively. It's just um, attack. We need a striker. Probably two. Because unless Jesus wants to play second fiddle, I don't rate him. inkete has got to go. Midfield. Rice, Odegaard. I'm going to throw this out here, right? And I might get slammed for this, yeah? Just because of how, obviously, Party's been out, injured this season, in quotation marks. His Odegaard. Uh, I don't think he's going to get anything off this. Brighton's defence has been so good. They've been very, very good. Very solid. Um, but I'm going to throw this out until Saka does this. Oh, again, great goalkeeping. Brighton have been great, man. Um, yeah, sorry. Let me throw out the question. Would you guys have preferred that we kept Xhaka in the summer and sold Partey on the basis that Partey's been out most of this season? Xhaka... Barely got injured for Arsenal, I believe. And if we kept Xhaka, played him left centre mid, put Rice in the, in the DM, which probably wouldn't have been as great because obviously we do prefer Rice as in, as in the eight position to be a bit more creative and get a bit more forward. But I think it would have made sense to keep Xhaka because obviously Xhaka only wanted to be at Arsenal if he got a starting 11 position. He wouldn't want to be on the bench. And look at him for Leverkusen this season. He's played the same. And I do believe... We'd be better off with Xhaka here and Party going. This sum the summer just gone. I really do maybe sell Xhaka this summer if he was still here. I seriously think that. But would he have kept his form from last season? And the reason I back that is because he's been very good for Leverkusen this season. And people will say, oh, we only have one assist, blah, blah, blah. I can understand that. But he has been a main core to that Leverkusen team this season. I would have personally kept him over Partey. I really would have. Half time now. 1-0, one 1-0 nil, one nil up from the Arsenal. Let me know your thoughts, guys, so far. What did you think of this first half? Would be good. I thought we were all right. But I think the main point out of so far was the fact that Brighton's defence has been great. It really has. Uh, let's have a look at the stats. Go ahead and go back to FOTMOB. Let's go have a, have a look at the stats. Uh, right, let's have a look at what you guys are saying in the, uh, in the chat. 20 likes. Thanks, guys. We've got 37 people in right now. Uh, if you're, again, on Twitter, come over to YouTube and do smash a like. Uh, technology has delayed football matches. Yeah, tell me about it by about 15,000 minutes. Uh, personally, I think we need a right side of centre-back, so bring me Anderson. Yeah, Anderson's a good centre-back. I do rate him. Uh, yeah, he's decent. Uh, crazy that Arsenal were just left. <laughs> Big up, Scott. Uh, yeah, I think he's great, Hugo. I personally take him as a second choice. I think he's really, really good. Uh, keep Jack, he'd be points clear. Uh, Zinchenko just ain't got a Scooby. He's like pig Piggy in the middle. Oh, he looks like a bad boy dog in the starting 11. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he, he was a bit meh compared to, obviously, the season he left in terms of seasons prior. But, um, yeah, he was all right. He was all right. And I probably would have kept him this season. Uh, Rice, six, Xhaka and Odegaard, eight. Yeah, I think that would have been good. Uh, Xhaka would have had his clearance off the league, but he should have been sold the moment at Chris the Crystal Palace. Yeah, I agree. I do think, obviously, we wouldn't have then seen what he would have done last season. But, um yeah, but Xhaka wanted to leave. I think he wanted to leave Hugo because I think he knew we were going to bring in... De I think he had a talk with, with Arteta. I think he knew Declan Rice was going to come in. And, um, yeah, I think he knew Declan Rice was going to come in. And he's like, okay, I'm not going to get minutes. So I think that's why he left. I think he knew he wasn't going to get minutes because maybe I think he thought Partey was going to be a main part and obviously he wasn't because he was out. Um, but I think now knowing that Partey was barely here this season, having Xhaka in there, I think we'd have been... A lot better off, but hey, it is what it is. Um, Saka Habert and Habert needs to do more. I agree. I do agree. As much as Jesus has been all right, actually. Let's have a look at. Let's have a quick look. Let's flip over. Let's have a look on Fot Mob. Trusty Fot Mob. 
big up to Fot Mob every single time. I love Fot Mob. I think it's great. I think it's just one of my favorite football apps to use. I'm not just, I'm not just saying that for a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Right. Ball possession, 58 to 42. The way more expected uh, XG, which I don't really care about because it's expected goals. I'm a football fan that cares just about the goals. I don't care about expected, so I don't care about that. But a lot more shots. We've had one more on target, which just shows how good Brian's defence has been to not even let it through on goal, on target, sorry. We've had four big chances, three missed, completely controlled the passes. In terms of stats, we've been better. We have been better. But this back line has been solid, Brian. It's been so good. So um, this is the problem that we try and get past. There's actually been six men in this back, in this back line um, at one point. So, hey, listen, that's the thing we've got to break down. But this guy right here, man, Simon and Dingra, I'm telling you, we're looking for a right winger in the summer. Arsenal fans, what do you think? I think we should look at him. I think he's pretty good. Runs, he absolutely, I'll say it again, he ran rings around that Liverpool defence, man. He caused that Liverpool defence so much problems. It's just unfortunately you couldn't get anything off it. Um, he's been great. The stupid has been very good. I think lamty has been very good as well. Uh, Dunk's been, it's been good for them. Um, yeah, the, these three, I'm not just saying it by, I mean, actually, no, the season has been all right. I think he's been, bit, been a bit done dirty here. Uh, but these two have been absolutely underwhelming for, for Brighton. Obviously, well back in mode there. But you got to watch with well back because you could get a goal out, out of nowhere. Let's have a look at Arsenal. Uh, yeah. Um, the back line's been solid. Again, I think this is just doesn't listen. I again, I I don't, I don't take Fot Mob's ratings obviously as as a whole. You know, everyone's got a different opinion, but doesn't that just say a lot? Zinchenko's got the lowest out of the four. Um, again, why you can't just put him in there, with Georgina, or anywhere in the midfield, and just put Tommy Asu in there? If I'm going to be honest, I'd bench Zinchenko for the second half. I put Tommy Asu in there. But if Gabriel's going to be taken off due to his injury with his ankle, I'd put Tommy Asu in there and put Zinchenko in there. Unless you want to play Kivior there, because Kivior obviously actually plays centre back. So that's not too hard to um, But I don't trust this guy, man. I don't trust him. Uh, let's have a look. 90% accurate passes. He's not been too bad. He's not created anything, though. I and mean, that's what he's meant to be doing as an inverted left back. But hey. It is what it is. Four passes into the final third. It's Ben White done. Ben White's done more than that. He's had less percentage in passes. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of Zinchenko. And it's, it might be agenda. I don't know. Rice has been great. He's been solid. He's been getting forward. He's been doing all right. Th th these guys have been all right, actually. They haven't been too bad. Odegaard has been doing all right. He could do a little bit more. Um, but hey, I don't think he's been too bad. Uh, I'd keep it the same. I don't think it needs to be changed. Honestly, and I criticised it, bar the goal, the penalty, Jesus has actually been the, probably the better attacker out of um, out of the three. I think Saka has been a bit underwhelming. His corners have been all right. But I think he's been a bit underwhelming. Um, and Havertz hasn't had a chance to get into the game. That's all. He's had nothing. And you could put it down to the fact he hasn't received anything. One chance created. How many touches he had? He's, uh, hold on, 19 touches. He hasn't, I, I'm, I'm, honestly, I don't think Habits has been bad because I think he's gotten back. He's, he's, been all, he's, he's, he's been all right, but he just hasn't had anything to receive from Odegaard, Saka, Jesus. He hasn't had nothing. And that's why I think, and he's been great, but Jesus, for me, doesn't offer that creativity to someone like Havertz, like a Trossard or a Martinelli does. That's the only reason why it annoys me that he plays in the wing um, at, at times. But hey, it is what it is. Um, obviously, Raya is being what a save he made, by the way, from earlier. What a save! Um, but yeah, honestly, I'd bring Martinelli or Trossard on. I just think he'd I think, personally, I'll bring Martinelli on. And if uh, if Gabriel's injured, bring on what do you guys think? I only have one football over four mob. Yeah, I, do you know what the thing is with one football? It's the layout I don't like too much. I, I'm a bit fussy like that. I, 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 get, I generally think I'm OCD, but yeah, the layout's a bit funny for me. Foot mob's like really clean, so that's why I kind of prefer it. But um, yeah, that might be just me. Uh, is he consistent, Connor, in terms of games and health? 
who do you mean, uh, John Ebro? Who do you mean? Let me know. Uh, have our have pass to Jesus had to deserve an assist. Yeah, you can get. Yeah, Jesus had is had has had opportunities. Yes, he, and he, he's been the better out of the three, a hundred percent. But do I feel bad for taking him off because of that? Not really, no. But he did win the penalty. To be fair, uh, Dingra another player that could be the answer. I think he's great, AJ. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop I'm not gonna stop banging on about him in uh in the summer. But not other words by any stretch of the imagination. Had it not be a pen, it'd be all square. I agree. It'd be still no no in my opinion. So I agree with that. Arsenal Manic. I don't understand how some fans claim we don't need a striker. I mean, I want to talk to them. Because <laughs> I don't know what they're seeing. As much as we've obviously scored a lot of goals this season, which has been great. And Havertz has been better this second half of the season. Not great, but he's been better than the first half of the season. But of course we need a, a striker. If you can't see that, then you're blind. Um this is the same fan base has no problem with Arteta friendly. Yeah, exactly. If we, I, I can already see the excuses. If we don't win the Champions League or the Premier League, I don't, I don't, either of them, I'll I'd, I'd happy to take either of them, don't care what, we need the trophy. But if we don't get any of them and we finish two points off top or three points, oh, but we finished three points away. That's going to be the excuse. And as much as it's a good season and we've been the, the best team in terms of this league, which has been great, but what's the point of being the best team in the league if you don't win it? You know, like, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Like, at the end of the day, right, if we look back at last season, did it actually matter, the fact that we were top for that long? No, because we didn't win anything, you know? So that that's why I hate these excuses of, if we don't win anything, yeah, we've been the best team in the league. That, yeah, yeah, Scott, we have. Look at the stats. We've been the best team in the league this season. If you don't agree with that, even as a Spurs fan, that's just fraudulent. We've been the best team in the league this season, 100%. Um, so, yeah, the fact that, you know, we can perform like this, we've had great results this season. At the end of the day, you can be the best performing team in the league, but you still don't win it. It's not good enough. It's, it's not. You have to go ahead and win this trophy, whether it's the Champions League or the, uh, the Premier League. Personally, I don't know why I feel like we've got a better chance in the Champions League due to the fact it's a knockout tournament and we've got two chances on both ends in terms of in terms of two games to play of each team. Maybe we've got a better chance there, but hey, listen, it is what it is. You could be like Spurs fans and brag that you got more points than City and Liverpool. Yeah, listen, I don't know. I don't know. I just think, you know, listen, I think we're still going to win this game. We've been all over Brighton. Brighton haven't really had a sniff at our goal apart from one chance, which... Uh, David Rare went ahead and saved, I believe. But apart from that, they haven't really had an opportunity. But, hey, listen, in my opinion, that, that's, that's just me, if that's how the season ends. Uh, guys, who's been your man in the match so far? Let me get the team up again. Who's been your man in the match so far uh, in the game for Arsenal? For me, uh, honestly, it's probably been Gabriel. Gabriel's always just been there. He's, um, he, he's, always, he's always there. He's, he, especially when we've had corners and opportunities, for me, it's, it's been him. Him or Declan Rice. Um, I think Saliba's been great as well. Ben White has gone forward. But for me, it's either between Gabriel or Declan Rice so far. Uh, big up to Kevin. Welcome in, bro. Uh, honest opinion, did you think it was a pen? Um, yeah, I, I thought it was a pen. I think Lamptey went in very weird. I don't know what was going on there, but the tackle was a bit strange. And I think, if I'm correct, I, I, I don't know if I missed it on the on the on the replay, he made contact with Jesus. If he didn't, that's my bad. But at the end of the day, if there's contact there, it's a penalty. And I think I saw that. If I didn't and I got mistaken, then uh, that's my bad. That's my that's my mistake. Because uh, we all know, regardless of the summer, Arteta will be in the league. Yeah, that's the thing, AJ, man. Arteta would have so much of an easier job if he actually gave one about the Cups. But he just doesn't. And I, and I don't care what people say, oh, we know bigger fish to fry and all that. Arsenal Football Club are known, not only for their Premier League titles, of course, but for the FA Cups. We're the most, we're the big, we're the, we're the team to win the most FA Cups. And that might change soon, by the way. We might be level soon with other teams, right? Um, that's due to, that's down to my United, though, being actually okay. Um, you know, so we've got to take these competitions seriously. We have to. And um, I'm just sick and tired of constantly being knocked out of them so instantly. And yes, listen, this season, it wasn't down to, especially, well, no, the the, um, the FA Cup, I'm not going to blame Arteta, 
the fact that we had 30 shots on target, or 30 shots, sorry, and none of the team could score. That's out of the team. The seasons prior, yeah, 100% he threw them away. Um, and it's annoying because I love a cup run. I love Wembley. I love going to Wembley. You know, last one, the last day of the season, you're at Wembley, you're at a final. And the fact that when you win it, it's even better. You know, it's summer, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, it annoys it bugs me. It really bugs me. But who's been your who's been your man of the match, guys? Let me know. And I forgot. I need to change the uh the banner. The uh the ticker banner. My fault there. You can go ahead and change that. <clears throat> One nil. And again, guys, there's gonna be no match reaction, unfortunately. Uh, because I am literally shooting off straight away after this. Um, so yeah, there's going to be no match reaction, unfortunately, but there will be one for Bayern next Tuesday. Let's have a look. Uh, you'll win this game easily. Brighton are not the team this season they were last year. No, I agree. They haven't been great uh, this season. Um, I think Deserby, I don't know what it is with him this season. He hasn't been great. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quickly check. Hold on. It's very clear that Arteta has finally come to realization that Eddie and Kelly, he's, he's, he's dead food, man. He, he's dead food, Arsenal. Man. I've, I've never seen a more dead food player. And I've seen links with him with West Ham, Palace, I think Fulham. Can I be so honest? He banged in three great goals against Sheffield. Championship is his level. Sorry to be a dick about it, but it's true. Championship is his level. And it's just, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. Um, but yeah, that's, that might just that might just be me. Uh, quickly respond to this. Yeah, I agree. I think he's been. I think he's been solid once again. It's a shame that he, I hope he's not badly injured, and I hope Arteta they assess him correctly. And if he does come out for the second half, they've made the correct decision. Uh, give me a league cup over Atari. It's a trophy. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't win it, what's the point of being in it? You know. Oh, but we finished three points off. Since that was when was that a trophy cabinet in the trophy cabinet? Hey, that's what it is. Speaking of Wembley, hot take: if we can make the Champions League final, yeah, I just yes, of course, I just realised that it will be at Wembley. Imagine that Arsenal final Wembley, as Tony Claude would say, pick up Tony Claude. It was written in the stars because I believe we'd play. Do you know what? This is a question out here, guys. Right, if we were to get to the Champions League final. And get past your buy and get past Bayern and even Madrid, uh, Madrid or City, which is just a dream. If we were to get to the final, would we win it? Would we win it? Because obviously it's it's obviously as as uh, AJ put there. So let's go Madrid, PSG, Barcelona, or Dortmund. I genuinely believe we could beat those four even th them teams. I really do. Teams coming back out. Um, it looks like Gabriel. Could be on the pitch. Um, don't think there's going to be any changes here from each side. Um, yeah. Hold on. Let me uh, shut my window for two seconds. Right, and we're about to kick off for the second half. And we have kicked off. Pascal Gross has kicked off for the second half of this match. There we go. Let's get this back up. I think we'll stick with Fot Mob. Fot Mob's all right. We'll stick with Fot Mob. Let's zoom in a bit more. There we go. Let's just do one out. And see, there's an opportunity there, and he scuffed it. Um, actually, let's go ahead and let's, let's do. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do this one. This one's a bit better. There you go. Block there from, I believe that was Saliba. And Reyes in the hands of it. If we beat anyone, but let's go to the point. Yeah, I, I, I generally think we do. I think Atletico, I think I, AJ, if that's what you're, the point you're making, I think Atletico are going to be the favourites to go to um, 
the final. Because I don't rate Barcelona. Dortmund are a decent side, but I don't think they beat Atletico Madrid. And PSG, I mean, we all know their previous history in the champ in, in Europe, and it's not been great, obviously. Um, Odegaard's won the ball back here. Saka. Declan Rice, Jesus. Cutting inside, and that Lamptey's got to it, and it's going to be a corner. Uh, the Premier League's easier. Uh, you've got all the top teams now in the, in the Champions League. It's like five games against Liverpool City and these fixtures are like, yeah, I could, I could agree with that. Although, when is Sebi not necessarily just an aggregate? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, in terms of a two-leg game, it probably plays more in our favour um, than just a one-match game in the Premier League. But hey, listen, listen, we've got to be going out for both of them. We've got enough squad depth, in my opinion, currently to do this. Um, I, just, I, I think we can do it. We've, we've got to win something. I, I genuinely believe we can win the Premier League. I really do. I think we can do it. But it's just down to the fact if the fact um one results go our way in terms of um City and Liverpool and we win every single game. I think we're gonna beat Tottenham. I think we can beat Tottenham. Tottenham are dross. I don't care what anyone tells me. Tottenham are shit. Not just because of agenda, I think Tottenham are trash. And I think we can beat them at, at their stadium. And United is tricky. But even though they've been crap, we know what we're like at Old Trafford. But I do think we can beat them at Old Trafford. Again, if we are the dominating team and don't sit back. But I think we can beat Tottenham and, and, and United. It's just down to us, isn't it? Down to us. Jesus! Oh, it's wide. Get a goal, man. Just score a goal. When was the last time Jesus scored a goal for Arsenal? Let's have a look. When was the last time he scored a goal for Arsenal? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the good thing about Nice is that if you're behind the knife, yeah, nice like minute, you'll probably still win it. Yeah. yeah I agree. <laughs> that was that was crazy, man. What a game that was against Chelsea, man. That was crazy. That's why you love the Premier League. You don't get that in other leagues. You don't. Havertz got taken down there. Can I be honest? I'd take off Havertz, put Jesus in the middle, and I'd uh, put Martinelli on the wing. I think Havertz has been very poor. He's been very poor. When he's had opportunities, he hasn't really taken it by the scruff of the neck. He hasn't. Oh, ah, man. This Brian defence is solid, man. It's solid. It's really good. I'm surprised that they're in the position they're in. But again, I think that their home record's better than their away record because I think away, they're pretty trash. Are they in the... It's, someone tell me, are Brighton in the Conference League still? Are they still in the... Uh, oh, is it the Europa League? Sorry, are they still in the Europa League? I think they are, right? They're in the knockout stages still, right? Let's see, so... Oh, I'll, I'll cheers, AJ. I'll reset it, mate. Probably because I need to reset it. Let's Google for you. Oh, weird. Let's go ahead and use the fault mob one. That's it looks a bit more. It's just I hate this bit. I wish this border would, would go. Uh, but let's just increase that. Uh, hold on. There we go. We'll go with that. That's better. It's not, unfortunately, I, don't, I can't do, I don't know what it is with my OBS, which is how you get the, the scoreboard above you. It just doesn't work with me. It's really funny. So I don't know what I need to sort that. Uh, but it doesn't work with me. Porn for Brighton here. Cleared well by Saka, but it's retrieved by Stupin Yan, who kicks it and it's blocked by Saka, crossed back in, and it's a goal kick. Um, yeah, I can't get, I can't seem to get the, the score line, the border. It's annoying. Um, but hey ho, I'll, I'll make sure to fix it for, uh, I'm going to try and fix it for, for Bayern. Uh, so you know exactly what time I'm on, but it's on it's on fifty one twelve. I'm currently about forty five seconds behind, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Um, Jesse, are you serious? Did he actually? Why that job? I have all of them. 
Oh, it just came out an hour ago. Thomas Tuchel will not be fired. And he will be at the buying game against Arsenal. Uh, yeah, it, d- it doesn't make sense to sack him. Not not, not at this point. Because they've got nothing to lose. Well, they well they do have something. They've got the Champions League to lose. But I don't I don't see them um, sacking him. It wouldn't make sense. Because they know he's going to go at the end of the season. So, uh, so yeah. Is that is that true, um, Jesse? Let's have a look. But what out of all those jobs you could have picked? Why that one? If that's true. Yeah, I think he has. Wow. Gabriel, great defending from him there. 23 likes. Thank you, everyone who's liked. Really, really appreciate it. Absolute legends. We've got 29 people over on Twitter. Please, if you're on Twitter, do come over to the channel and smash a like. Every like goes a long way. Odegaard. Ben White getting booed. Oh, yeah, completely forgot. Former Brighton, didn't he? Completely forgot about that. Declan Rice. Jesus. Extra t- oh, poor pass. I think the only way Brighton are going to beat us here will get a goal is from a counter-attack. And we know how fast their wingers are. Welbeck is sitting back. He's waiting for that pass to go through. He is waiting. Do you actually remember, guys, when we were linked with Lamptey for so long, but obviously we ended up getting Ben White. Remember, for so long we were linked with Lamptey and Max Ahrens. Look at where Max Ahrens is. I think, is Max Ahrens at Bournemouth now? He's fallen off a bit. I remember when uh, he used to he used to be like everyone's like let's get Max Harris. He's like he's quick, he's, he's good from Norwich, and he's just sort of fallen off ever since he really went to to uh, to Bournemouth. That was at like, the period when we were looking for a right back. And you guys remember all the uh, the Upe Meccano links? Every everyone wanted Upe Meccano, and <laughs> a bit reminiscent. Here. Do you remember when we were trying to look for our we wanted the hour and Parte partnership? Do you remember that, that year when we got part of it? Everyone wanted our as well. And big up to Lee Gunner is Havertz, Odegaard. Look at look at the defending from Brighton. Good save from from from, from Verbruggen. Um, yeah, do you remember the season we were in for Parte and 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 Awar? Thank God we did not buy Awar because he is he's become trash. So well done to Arsenal for that because he'd have been trash at Arsenal. Um, so respect them for not signing him because they obviously saw something we didn't. Uh, but I remember I was buzzing about Pi. Sorry, yeah, Marshall Manic, yeah, Higuain, yeah, he's retired now. Or is he in, is he in the MLS? So, look, I think he's retired now. Was he in the Argentinian league? Yeah, he's playing for Inter Miami, but he's retired now. Um, yeah, no, Higuain, um, Benzema, yeah, Higuain, Higuain retired in December of 2022. Um, oh, unlucky. Look at this. Bright, <laughs> yo, Brian had the whole squad in the box. This is mad. They've got their whole box, they've got their whole team in the box, man. Okay, maybe they are playing a low block. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and remember the uh, the Benzema links every season. We're going to get Benzema. Never happens. We were linked to him in January. Uh, linked to link, linked to leave. Our yeah, that makes me laugh, right? He's another player that wants to leave Saudi. Bunch of frauds, man. When money calls, they'll get, they'll go. Simple as. I've seen some games where they've only had about eight hundred people in the stadium for about that you could that could fill about fifteen thousand. Like the Saudi league's a joke, man. I think Al Halal is still unbeaten. Am I right? Are they, are they still unbeaten in the league. Your genius screwing off of in CISO. Matt and Caesar is decent as well. Paraguayan, decent player. I don't know where Brighton managed to. Do you know, that's another thing. Brighton got a decent scouting system, guys. They really have a decent scouting system. Um, yeah. And I think th- the fact they made 100 million off um, Paisado and he's been dog water from Chelsea, they can make some serious investments in the summer. They really could. Yeah, Cavani, that's another one. We did to Cavani at one point. Um, quite glad we didn't get him. I mean, to be fair, if we got him towards um, maybe a few years when he was at PSG, maybe. Um, but obviously when he went to United, he weren't great. 
but he was really old by that point. So um, I'm not going to really put that down to it. it we've, we've, been, we've been linked to some quite some not, Thomas Lamar. That was another one. Thomas Lamar. We were constantly linked to him. Uh, I'm glad we didn't really get him because he didn't. He's been all right for a left but he's not been great. Yeah, Thomas Lamar. God, who else will be linked with loads of times? Upen McCann, I remember Upen McCann. We were constantly linked with him. Um, I'm trying to think. Who, come on, who, who, come on, guys. Tell me who else will we linked with? Arsenal Manic Asia. Who else will we linked with that we can remember? Corner here for Brighton. Oh, it's been a mishap in the box. Is this uh? Which referee is this? Is this Stu Atwell? No, I don't think it's Stu Atwell. John Brooks. No, he's not too bad. He's given so many fouls there, though. Martino Prediction is still on, though. Let's have a Google, actually. If Arsenal have been linked with the most. Shot from Nciso, and it's gone wide. <laughs> That's true, man. It's true, Malik. It's very, very true. We've been linked with so many players. Good clearance from Ben White. Just like I didn't see, so I didn't get on the end of that. I don't know, guys. I don't know whether it's just down to the fact that Brighton have been very defensive in terms of they've played a very, they've had the whole team in, in their own box. Or is it the fact that we've just been very, uh, very poor up front? Saka, come on, you can get to that. Oh, unlucky. This for Bruggen guy looks good, man. I said it before the start of the game. I think he looks decent. I really do. I'm trying to see like an article where I can tell us who's, who have Arsenal have been linked with a lot. Let's have a look. Let's go with Arsenal link transfers. 2018. I remember we linked with Schlobberschlei at one point. I remember that quite vividly. I'm going to do Diallo. Rabio. Do you guys remember Rabio? Constantly linked with Rabio. That's one guy that I'm happy we didn't get. I don't rate Rabio whatsoever. Ethan Meccano, where he said that. I'm kind of just looking back a bit to uh, like 2018. Who else are we linked to a lot? Jan Oblak, we were linked to a couple times, to be fair. Taliso. Oh my God. Usman Dembele. Oh my god, the amount of times we link with that guy, Usman Dembele, who I would still take at Arsenal, by the way. I think he's fantastic. He's so talk about rapid players. I, was, I can't remember who mentioned it, but Arsenal Manic mentioned it earlier. Talk about rapid players. Usman Dembele. Whoa. He is rapid. Um, he, he will constantly link with Usman Dembele uh, before he went to PSG. Always linked with him. We loved our French players, didn't we? Fekir. Oh my god, Fekir. We always linked with that guy, man. I think we linked with Zlatan at one point. I think maybe at the start of his, towards like before PSG. I can't remember. Maybe we were linked with him at one point. Yeah, we need a second goal badly, man. I love how some people say I'm a Spurs fan. My YouTube profile picture is me with, with the King stash. <laughs> do people really say that, AJ? I don't get why they do that. We know you're not a Spurs fan. Yeah, why would you... Yeah, you can clearly see that's on Rui. Uh, weird. Yeah, it was because of Denga, wasn't it? And CISO dealt with again. Do you know what? I'm quite glad I'm not doing a match reaction for this because this has been a dull game. Yeah, we were constantly linked with Fekir. Do you remember Fekir? We were constantly linked with Fekir all the time. Thomas Lamar, another one. Loads, man. Let's go back to let's go 20, let's go 2015. Back when Wenger was here. Ah, yeah. No, let's go 2016. That's the signings we made. Tracker. Engolo Kante. 
before he went Chelsea. We oh, do you remember? Talk about Xhaka. Do you guys remember when? Um, do you guys remember when uh, we were constantly scored? We were constantly linked with um, Ingolo Kante before he went to Chelsea. Jorginho, come on, please have that. Yes, come on. Ah. You know what to do. Our oh, hooks is going to be on to me, man. Hooks is going to be on to me. Mr. Chooks. Now, listen, right? He has got to turn up against... Um... What's my mouse? There we go. Look at this fraud. He already knew. He already knew. I can't... Let me see if I can show it on my... Uh... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can show it on my phone. This fraud already knew what he was doing, man. Big up to hooks every single time. I'm just messaging him saying I'm sorry. Let me turn it because I have to turn this off because so you can see it. Look at this fraud. Soon as he scores on WhatsApp, this fraud, man. You can't see it because my thing's um, weird. Hold on. Can you see it now? There you go. Look at this fraud, man. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Big up to Havertz. Another great goal. Good assist by Jorginho. That's it. Hey, listen, if we can keep it at 2 0, that's my prediction sorted. Yes. Listen, man, I'm telling you. Maybe he's the answer. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I told you guys to agree. Yeah, listen, at the beginning of the season, I slated him completely. However, now he's turning up, man. He's turning up. Fair play to him. 2 0. Come on, Arsenal. Come on. Brilliant stuff. And Cecil's come off for uh, Brighton. Is Ansu Fatty on, maybe? Can't pronounce this guy's name. Is it Buon Math? Buon Math? I can't pronounce it. You have to turn around. Buon Amatone. <laughs> I'm so sorry for slaying that name. Oh, that's troops. Yeah, we could have got Kante for 30 million. Would you guys have preferred Kante than, than Xhaka? I think it would have made sense, wouldn't it? Saka's coming off. He's, he's been shocking today by the penalty. Jesus is coming off respectfully. Yeah, Trossard and Martinelli. Now, watch now. I guarantee you we'll be better now. I guarantee you we'll be better now. It is, man. It's crazy. And like I say, it's a good season. But teams like this have these seasons and then they win it. You know? And yeah, listen. If we don't win the Premier League, was it a good season in terms of how we played? Yes. But I can't say it's a good season because we need to win something out of it. You can't play this good and not win something, man. You can't. Big up, Ravi. Welcome in, brother. Hope you're all well. Tune on to the Arsenal. Doesn't get better than this. Jao Pedro in it. Jao Pedro's on as well for Brighton. I think Danny Welbeck's been taken off, if I'm correct. Or is, is he playing at, in the number 10 for Modair? But hope you're all well, Ravi, bro. Or Ravi. Whoa. Comfortable day. Comfortable day. I think we can keep a hold of this now. Keep a clean sheet. We're all right. What's looks um I'm accepting all employees of a Don Card. Card's on some serious shit. <laughs> I'll set her a successfully revived by a Kai. Fuck Chelsea. <laughs> says says uh, says Hooks. Oh, this guy's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, listen. Do you know what? I'm going to throw this out here, guys, right? I'll throw this question out here. Obviously, Havertz will be here next season, clearly. Um, and we want a striker. Does Havertz, does Havertz hit bench? Because, for me, Havertz doesn't work starting in the midfield. He doesn't work. He works up front. But if we bring in a striker, does he go to the bench? What would you guys do? Would you put him on the bench? Would you fit him in the team somehow? What would you do? Let me know. I personally... It's difficult. I, I don't know what I'd do, actually. Because we're going to bring in a striker. We should be anyway. Um, I'm not a big fan of him, personally, AJ. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of him. I don't think he's that great, personally. But that might just be me. But uh, Arsenal can do it. It's just a case of will they. Exactly, man. I agree. You've got to have the integrity to win it. Do I personally believe we can win all of our games? Yeah, 100%. I 100% agree. You know when games become somewhat formality and you're not nervous. That's, what, that's, what, that's exactly what it's been this season, Arsenal, man. It's exactly what we've been like, and rightfully so. Look how we've been this season, you know? And that's why it hurts so much when we lose a game. 
because we're so used to winning, especially this season. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree on that one. I think uh, Zinni should come off. I don't think he's been great. Defensively, he just looks like a deer in headlights, personally. He's gross. Through to a Dingra. Pedro. Crap. Uh, when he's bringing a striker, becomes a yeah, guy becomes a super sub. Will he like that, though? I have a funny feeling we're going to have to end up putting him in midfield, which I won't enjoy, but maybe it will work. Or maybe we, we change formation, do a 4 4 2. Odegaard and Rice in the midfield. Um, wingers of Martinelli and Saka, whoever we're going to put in there, Trossard or whatever new signing we, we bring in. And then, then Havertz and another striker. We'll do a 4 1 2 1 2. Have, um, if, if we want to do that. Have more of a uh, Declan Rice at the six. Keep Odegaard up high. Then go to a 4-4-2. Four, four, no. You guys let me know. I'll make Havertz the main coach job for the lads. <laughs> what about Trossard? Does he want... Yeah, I, listen. It's difficult, uh, Robbie, because... Um, you know, we've got, we've, got, we've got choice in the wing. It's always going to be between him and, and Martin, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, yeah. Big up to Paul. Welcome in, bro. Uh, three Chelsea boys getting half of both goals. Yeah. Wait on a minute. What are you talking about three? Well, one. It's, you're talking about one because Sakura and Chelsea boys. I don't know what you're on about. But big up to you, mate. <laughs> oh, do you mean, um, do you mean Jorginho? You probably mean Jorginho, don't you? And, um, who's the other one? Oh, what? Declan Rice. I think that's who you're on about, right? I thought you meant for I thought you mean for scoring. I think I think you mean for that Jorginho but for the Havertz goal. Sorry, uh, I think you mean yeah Rice. Uh... Oh Lamptey, sorry, my fault, bro, my fault. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, I don't know, man. It's just in their nature, isn't it? You know, I, I said this earlier, Ravi, uh, when I watched the game earlier at twelve the twelve thirty kickoff, when Palace scored, I didn't even bother celebrating because I knew. City are just going to get back into this and look at what happened. We all know what happened at the end, you know. But hey, here's what it is. Uh, do you think Trossard's future is in doubt? He may want to start more often. Um, he's getting on the verge. Well, he's now, I think, he's, is he 30 now? He's getting, he's getting on the verge of it. Honestly, I think he's happy in the in the position he's in. You know, he, he's in and out of the team. Him and Martinelli swapping, I don't have the biggest problem with it. I personally believe Trossard's more effective off the bench. As a super sub, I, I personally think he's more effective like that. Um, but maybe that's just me. I, I don't know. Uh, here's Lamptey. And the Sens and Jenko didn't work. It's a good pass in there from Brian, but it's cleared by Gabriel. The absolute brick wall himself. Yeah, no, I think he's all right, though, past on my neck. I think Trossard's all right. Uh, if Kai doesn't like that, he can leave. No bigger play. Yeah, exactly. I agree. If that's what they want to do with him. I just have a funny feeling... I'll tell you, I want to start him. Maybe we do a position a formation change. I don't know. But he's going to have to be facilitated somehow because I know I'll tell you, I going to want to facilitate him. Now I can go to the bar if I was holding it off. <laughs> I'll have to go ask my name, bro. Uh, Connor, how do Arsenal play a little bit quicker in the get in a game? Do you mean this one? I think if, if you're talking about this one, um, it's difficult because if you're talking about quicker, I personally believe that, and it's not to be a, a dick in any way, I do think Georgina slows down play just a little bit. Um, you gotta be aware that Brighton, like now, good ball in from Dunk, but saved there by Raya. Um, I think it's more to the fact that I think we're playing all right. I don't, I don't think we're not playing a little bit quicker. And you gotta remember we are away. Um, we've sent uh, that Trossard through here. Here we go. Go on, Trossard, have a shot. Oh, unlucky. Good save. This for Bruden guy. I'm telling you guys. Second choice goalie. I take him. I think he's decent. I think he's decent. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I don't think he's great, personally. Uh, I agree with you, uh, AJ. I don't think he's great. Not not at all. I don't think he's the option. No way. We can get better. Do you know what, Manic? I'm, I'm, I think we won the game. I think we have won the game. In my opinion, I, I don't think Brighton have been that great today. I think we've stopped them from uh, scoring. And I think we get another clean sheet. I never liked the comments of the fan base calling him super sub. I called him that too. Uh, Trossard far too good in clinical finishing to be an impact sub. That's the thing, though. 
with Trossard, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just me. I feel like he's more. Oh, I thought that wasn't there. That's gonna be a goal, man. Um, I don't know if it's just me. Oh, I was offside anyway. I think. Um, oi, relax yourself. Why shouldn't I leave before? Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but it always feels like he's more effective off the bench. I don't know. I keep changing this. Keep forgetting to change the banner. My fault, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 2 0. Tommy S is coming on. There's Zinchenko. Thank God. Who said that earlier? Was that Arsenal Manic or AJ? I can't remember who said that, but he called it. Um, yeah, there you go. It was Johnny Donuts, the prophet. He called it. And rightfully so. Um, Connor, do you see Eddie and Ketia? Ed, Ravi, Eddie and Ketia could not leave quicker. I'd drive him to his next, um, I'd order his taxi to his next club. Dross player. And ESR. It's a 50-50. If he wants to stick on the bench, it's all right. But he's young. He deserves more minutes. I think he should go. But if we need midfield depth, I keep him. Because um, I do rate him. I think he's I think he's decent. I don't think he's great. Like, I don't think he's superb. But I think he's all right. But it's just down to the fact that he wants more minutes, which I, which I would understand. Uh, I never have a problem when he starts. Yeah, 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 I agree. Uh, with Trossard, yeah, yeah. I think he's fine when he starts. Either or works for me. I think mean, the, the thing I like is when Martin is bad, when he's on a bad run of form, you just know you can stick in Trossard and he'd be decent. Is Welbeck. Oh, can you believe Welbeck's still playing, man? Did you, guys, did you guys rate Welbeck at Arsenal? I think he was all right. I think he was always there in the crucial moments. Like, he was never consistent, but when he needed the goal, it was like he was there sometimes, majority of the time. I, 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 I don't know why. I was like, I always like the fact that he was from United as well. You know, there was that bit of like, you know, we very rarely get players from United, um, and when we do, it always seems a bit special. So I kind of like the fact that he was a, that he was bought from United. He was all right for us. I don't think he was bad at all. I thought he was a decent little player. Um, Mkhitaryan as well. I thought it was okay. He was better at Arsenal than United. He was trashy at United. Didn't work on the Jose Mourinho whatsoever. Um, so the swap deal for Alexis Sanchez was actually quite funny, actually. Um, but yeah, no, for me, yeah, I thought when we get a player from United, I think they're always a bit decent. But for me, Welbeck, I thought he was right for Arsenal. What do you guys think? Did you like Welbeck at Arsenal? Um, <clears throat> he is. I see people disrespecting him, Robbie. I think he's great. And the fact that he's playing the position, he doesn't even, he's a right back. He's actually a, well, no, he plays centre back for Japan. Um, he's known more as a centre back for his country. He played at right back for Bologna. Versatile. What about the loan players you have out? Will they be back? Um, Latini will be sold, unfortunately. Um, he'll be sold. He'll stay in Spain, I reckon. Or he'll go somewhere. Or maybe he'll go somewhere in the Prem. Um, who else we got? Sambi Lukonga should be sold. I don't care if you're having a decent form for Luton. You're 25 now. No. No, not for me. Uh, Tavares should be sold. Unless we're playing with a five at the back. Or three at the back, sorry, and he's a wing back. He doesn't fit into any other team. Tavares is fantastic for a team where the fullback doesn't need to defend. <laughs> so if you're playing a back three, Tavares is your guy because he's rapid going forward. And in my opinion, he works better in an attacking team. So no, I wouldn't keep Tavares. Marquinhos, no. I think that's it, right? Tierney, no. Sambi Lukonga, no. Tavares, no. Marquinhos, no. Am I missing out someone? I think that's it, right? Fuck, I'm missing out someone. I think I'm missing out someone. That's I, I, I'd sell them all. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd sell them all. Uh, Connor, what do you think of the free league 24 25 shirts? Personally, I believe the away ones less. I haven't seen them, AJ. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. No, I have to love looking. If Danny Welbeck played his heart out for us, we failed him after his Leicester City winner. Yeah, listen, I the thing is with Danny Welbeck, right? That's what I mean. He was there when you needed him to be there. He wasn't consistent. But when we needed a goal, he was there. Let's have a look. I haven't actually seen the league kits. Let's have a Google. Arsenal. I've seen. I think. I've seen. I think I've seen the uh, the home kit without like the blue stripe. Is this meant to be them? Because if it is, damn. Okay, right, well, this is meant to be the home kit. Let's uh, let's zoom in on this. How do I get the full screen version of this? Hold on. Um, 
open image in new tab. Right, so this is meant to be the home kit. I don't mind that. I wish that, I mean, to be fair, is this definitely real? Are based on leak colors so this isn't this isn't legit this is the one this is the one my bad here we go oh, you can't even see it from there let me just do it on here uh hold on guys so you can't really see it but that is meant to be the new kit here, hold on let me get it up here uh here we go oh so there's another mock-up so this might not be legit, but there's definitely going to be a form of. Um... All right, you sent me on Instagram. Cheers, AJ. Have a look. Um, oh, I can't do it on here. I'll have a look another time, AJ, because um, I'm on TJ's version of I'm on TJ's account, so I can't like go back to mine. It's, it's funny. I can't do it. But if this is the case, I'm, I does, it's, it's not. It's not bad. I wish this was gold, though. That should be gold, in my opinion, personally. Um, if this is the away kit. I think this is quite fire, you know. I think this is quite fire. Again, this isn't true. This isn't legit. But if this is the kind of colorway we're going for, I like that. Personally, I'd go all black, maybe silver. I don't know why the green. I'd go black, silver, and then the red. That'd be fire. And then apparently this is the third kit. Um, This might be the third kit. Which I like. That That's nice. I like that one. It looks more like a goalkeeper kit. Don't know what you guys think. That's what the goalkeeper kit. But um, yeah, if that second kit, if this is the away kit, the only thing I'd change is that I'd make the these go uh, silver. Then that'd be fire. That'd be really fire. Um, that's just me. That's just me. I think it's gonna be a comfortable ten minutes, guys. If I'm gonna be so honest with you. Connor, does it help? Um, when defenders can play all positions at the back, that's a lot of quality and diversity to the team. That's what I mean. You know, Ravi, when, like I said, when I saw Gabriel was injured at half time, you know, we've got the options of um, Kivio to obviously play centre back. Tommy Asu can play left back, centre back, and right back. And we've seen that Timber can do it as well. You know, so that's great. The fact we've got two players, well, three really, because we've seen Kivio can play left back as well. And he can apparently play DM. I didn't see that perspective, but apparently he can. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that, man. I think it's great that we've got that kind of versatility. Uh, let me quickly forward the link to this DAO. I'll copy. Bang. Hmm. All right. DAO might be joining us in a minute. Because uh, there's going to be no match. Like, again, I'm going to say again, guys, there's going to be no match reaction today. Because I do have to shoot off straight after this. Um, just letting you guys know. Let me look on Instagram, actually, AJ, what you sent me. Uh, let's have a look. Um, where is it? That's my book account. That's why. Yeah, so that's the ones I just saw, AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're fire. I don't, I personally, yeah, I wish we either go full black with that black and red one. Or add silver to it. I don't like the fact it's green. I don't think that looks right. But hey, that might be what we're going for. Maybe. I had to laugh on Troops' back again podcast. It called Habits, a forward line play when he asked for his back. Yeah, that's what I mean. The, the thing with me, right, is I, I don't know if you guys agree. I don't like him in midfield. I think he makes more sense in a, in a, in a centre forward role. I don't think he... We're doing good defending there. What a tackle from Rice. Come on now. I think it's going to be a comfortable 2 0 win, guys. Yeah, it does. I think it looks clean. I think it does. Yeah, no, I agree, Ravi, man. But he'll be back. He'll be back. Um, and fingers crossed, this this won't recur. This will be just a one time thing. And he, he'll be back fully fit and big up to Dara every single time. Legend. He'll be here in a minute, guys. Actually, let me get ready for that. Um, should be. Oh, I'll, I'll sort that in a minute. I'll sort that in a minute. Uh, with two IG accounts, one for business and one. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, I've got. I have four Instagram accounts. It's kind of crazy. I've got my main one. Actually, no, I've done. I've got. I've got. No, I've got three. I've got my CMO Sports one, which I use the most. 
I've got my editing one, which I, I need to post on. I've got another one, like a personal one, which I don't use at all. I bet I don't even use it. So I'm, I'm mainly on my CMO Sports one at the moment. Uh, but I don't even use social media that much, guys. I'm going to be so honest. Here, I don't even use it. Um, I'm, I'm more active on YouTube than anything. I'm on Twitter now, even though I hate Twitter. But Twitter really helps with you boosting your um, interaction and followers and all that. Uh, but no, you're right there, Ravi. You're right there, brother. <laughs> oh, dear. Go subscribe to Dow if you haven't already. Go check his stuff out, man. He's a gamer. Go check out his stuff. Pick up to AJ. I think this is comfortable 2 0. What do you guys think? I think it's going to be a 2 0. Comfortable. And it helps with my predictions as well. What's your scoreline for the uh, buying game, guys? For the first leg? I think we're going to win 2-1. And I think Madrid are going to beat City as well on Tuesday. I don't think City are going to get past Madrid. Not this season. I think it's two different teams and I think Madrid are going to beat them. Yeah, I don't know what it is with City, man. I don't know what it is. They seem easy to score against them. Well, sorry, we didn't score against them, but... I don't know. They seem a bit off it. Hey, must be me. Jorginho, Martinelli, come on. Oh, good defender from Dunk. Yeah, fingers crossed it. there's no injury to uh, to Gabriel. I don't think there should be, but fingers crossed there isn't. Uh, Bale to everybody who's tuned in, though. Thank you for the, for the support. I know I'm not TJ, um, and you guys obviously love TJ, but um, I hope I, I've done a good enough job once again for TJ. Uh, and I prefer doing it solo, you know. I think it's good to do to stream to do watch long solo. Uh, get a bit more involved with the chat. And guys, by the way, thank you very much. Not just AJ and Ravi, but everyone from earlier, you know, John, everyone, Arsenal Manic. The guy, the fact that you guys are so interactive makes these streams 10 times better. You know, if it weren't for you guys, not just this channel, my channel, you know, any channel, it would just be dead. And the fact that you guys are always here being interactive, getting involved, ask me questions, it just makes the streams 10 times more enjoyable, fun. It's great. So thank you guys. Uh, Connor, you and TJ need to be guests on on his Psalms and Mo's new channel would be cool. I would love to be ha to be invited to uh, the Psalm and Mo's channel. Unfortunately, I haven't been invited yet, but if I got the offer, I would definitely say yes. Um, his Psalm has been on here before on TJ Warren TV. Uh, we, we haven't had Mo yet, but I would love to be invited onto one of their shows uh, if I got the offer. This is stupid. I'm sitting back a bit now. It's all right, I guess. Um, but we'll get down in a minute to give his overall thoughts on the game. It's a pretty easy game. Absolutely awful crossing there. Well done from Adingra, though, to, uh, to get him on. Appreciate that, AJ. Thanks, man. Yeah, 2 0. I think if we shut out Kane, I think we're all right. I really do. Yeah, we shouldn't have too much injury time. Should, there should be about three minutes. There shouldn't be a lot. Uh, Connie, to, yeah, listen, I don't I don't actually have any co way of contacting Hussam because I know Hussam is on socials, I don't think. Um, I need to actually get in contact with him. I'll, I'll throw it. Uh, no, TJ, definitely. I'm surprised TJ hasn't gone on yet on This Is Football, uh, but that's not obviously down to me. Uh, but listen, if I, if I if I some way get a form of invitation, I'm, I'm there, Ravi. They're two great content creators. Hassan's funny as fuck. I'm sorry, I've had to say he is. He's so funny, man. Uh, Mo, I, I, I've watched. I, I watch Mo regularly. I don't actually know him personally, um, but yeah, it'd be great to have a conversation with 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 those guys. I've already been on the terrace as well with Terry, um, so I'd love to go back on there soon. I, I, to be fair, I get invited. I get sent the link for the match reactions. I just don't have the time. I need. I'm back on streams tomorrow. I should be, by the way, guys. I'm I'm going to be doing a match reaction. To all the game, well, to the main games. Go on, we're through. Come on, come on, get a third. Come on, Trossard. Yes, come on. Three nil. Is he going to do the? Is he going to show respect? Now they look like it. Three nil. Trossardinho. Come on. So I mean, by impact sub, you know. Three nil. Game done. Great game. 
Thank you, Ravi. I appreciate it, bro. Some people don't think that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. 3 0. Tross Sardinio. It doesn't get better than that. You can never let Trossard get through like that. Beautiful chip over the keeper. And that is game over. Come on. And this is also a great, great game before the buying game. Great motivation. The fact that we hopefully it's a clean sheet. Great win. Couldn't be any better. Big up, Johnny. We got down the back. Be two sex style. Quickly get you on. Let me quickly sort this out real quick and get you on. Uh, hold on. Quickly sort this out. Make that a bit bigger. Add in a second one. Bam. And we've got Dow. Big up, Dow. You are, bro. I'm excellent. Three nil, bro. I predicted oh. four. Take it every day of the week. What do you think of the game? I thought I thought it was pretty. There was parts where it was a bit like, "All oh, right, they're sitting back. We've got to try to break them down." But we took our chances, and we and we we, we we won. In my opinion, yeah, it was it, it was scrappy. Definitely a fight, a little more of a fight than I thought it would be. But I thought it was... we could be three 0 up in the first uh, twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I think we we had our, we had our chances. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. some that Verbruggen keep up for Brighton. I think he's been great today. He looks really yeah. really good. Uh, for, yeah. And, I, that Dingra as well, I think it's very, very good as well. Um, does this give you confidence now for, for Bayern, Dow? Does it give you more confidence? Yes, especially after their meltdown today. Absolutely. Yeah, they've been shocking. Yeah. Declan Rice, all oh, wide. Oh. oh, I got to turn it on. Oh, crap. Yeah, you did. <laughs> there's, another, there's another about about four minutes to go. Um, yeah, on YouTube TV here, and I'll mute it. And, uh, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm generally, Dow, I think if we yeah. get like a 2 0 at, at home on Tuesday, I think we can go to the semis. I really do. Just go to the Allianz, defend for anything. Yeah, I've been saying 3-0. You know, um, I, I I don't know if 2-0 is just enough, but it could be. I mean, it, it really could, could be. be. Who knows, right? I mean, uh, yeah, I just, I'm just not so sure, bro. Eddie and Kessie is coming on and Fabio Vieira, two dross players. <laughs> coming on for two minutes. <laughs> Have and Odegaard are off. Uh, Havertz, you know what? To be fair to Havertz, I don't think he had a great game, but it was a really good goal from him. Or assist, was it assist? Oh, yeah, really good goal from him. And uh, Odegaard was decent as well today. Uh, but we got the two drops. But how is, Fa how is Fabio Vieira not on any muscle at all? Like, how? I swear <laughs> to God, he's so dead. Know, man, do, do, do you think um, the fact that we played Jesus and um, and Zinchenko today, Dow, means we're resting like Tommy Asu and Martinelli for Bayern, do you think? Um, yes, yes, I do think that. I think that. I think that's the smart play. And I was happy that he brought off Saka. Yes, yeah, same, same. I agree. Um, I think the fact that we can get given as much rest as possible is great. I think Gabriel has been fantastic today. So good, mm -hmm. so solid. Um, sure. Is Martinelli just going to come inside? Oh, in Ketia, and of course he can't put it in because he's in Ketia. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, it's shoddy. Who's been your man of the match today, Dal? Um, I think my man of the match today has been. I gotta give it to Declan Rice again. Let's have a look at the team real quick. It's been all over the place, you know. Um, mm. but I don't know. I think Havertz has been pretty good. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what the numbers are. I think it's been really balanced today. Jorginho, I thought's been good today, but overall, man, I don't know yet. Does that just say a lot about Zinchenko? I could give it to Gabriel. Doesn't that just say a lot about Zinchenko? The fact he's got the lowest running out of them all. Yeah, he's he's crap. Um, yeah, I think for me personally, it's been between Gabriel and and Rice. Saka, honestly, bar the penalty, was a bit crap today. I don't think he was that great. Um, it's a bit annoying, uh, but hopefully he turns up against Bayern. Um, I think he will. I like to think yeah. he will anyway. Um, Odegaard was decent today. Yeah, you know, I agree. All over, pressing hard. Um, Jorginho, again, decent. Yeah, I, I think there's like th really three players that really stood out today that were deserving of man of the match, to be honest. I thought Ben White was, was mm. a lot better in the second half than in the first. Yep. 
um, yeah, it's kind of a tough one today. We might just have to, I'll just let you call it and have to follow, Connor. For me, <laughs> yeah, for me personally, I don't know what it's been, it's a toss up between Havertz and, Gab and Gabriel mm. and even Rice as well. The, the, the team was great today. For me, uh, yeah, Gabriel, see, it's a really, really, Gabriel, yeah, I would give it to Gabriel again. Yeah, because Gabriel. That's, the, him and Saliba are going to be the foundation coming up, I think, against Bayern Munich. Oh, 100%. It starts with, it starts with them. It ends with them. Another – you've got a clean sheet today. Absolutely fantastic. I don't, And I think it was a scrappy performance. After the three mm -hmm. goals we missed, you know, obviously the Gabriel um, – what was the other one? The Saka goal, right, which was wide yep. open, and then the Jesus miss. Um, I was getting worried, to be honest. I thought it might be one of those days where – you know, Comfort maybe it was 1 0 to the 85th minute and yeah. they sneak one in, right? But now mm -hmm. that it's pretty much done and dusted, um, yeah, I'm feeling confident mm -hmm. against Bayern Munich. If we play just a little bit better than today, I think we'll we'll put them to the sword. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, so I've already said, you know, we, we played against City twice, mm -hmm. you know, we reduced them to that, to that much chances. And the fact that we were able to reduce the best striker in the league, well, top goal scorer in the league, sorry, people might say he's not the best striker. Um, in the sure. league in Haaland twice, can then through. If we do that with Harry Kane, who they play, I think, a similar somewhat formation when they just leave Harry mm -hmm. Kane up front by Munich, I think we can deal with it. I really do. Um, yeah. It's just down to the fact that I hope we're we're offensive, you know, especially at home, because mm -hmm. obviously against City, we would we defended a lot, but offensively right. we weren't that great. And I think we were a bit nervous to go forward. So mm -hmm. I hope at home, the fact we got the first leg at home, we're a bit more tougher offensive going forward i hope you get, yeah. get more chances um, um you know going forward you know buying of so many injuries Neuer's out sane um that's, i believe oh Kim that's Day's a plus because sane was the most dangerous player i yeah. feel on the pitch exactly um and you see they just the fact that they threw away um the fact that they threw away a um a two nil lead just shows to me that they're able to uh to go ahead and bottle it and um, yeah, I think we can go ahead and do it. I really do think and this, yeah, this game's giving me a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, so. never, they won't have any fans there, really. No, you know? no, maybe a few, a few will sneak in. Jez, Jez said a few will sneak in, so I believe that Jez yeah, will, well, 100%. says that. But um, yeah, and shout out to Jez. I guess his, I talked to him today. I was hoping yep. to do a show with him, but his he was not able to make it out there today. His friend became ill and he was not able to go to the match, unfortunately. That's a shame. I was going to be in the what yeah. was going to be in the uh, way end. Yeah, it was going to be in the way oh, end. Today. That's shame. I mean, should I would have swam over there to go? <laughs> <take his> <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. I mean, it's, it's if, if anything, it's it's like a golden ticket to get to an Arsenal game nowadays because it's just ridiculous yeah. how expensive yeah. it is. And, you know, it's 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 crazy. You know, buying yeah. Munich tickets for over three hundred pounds, it's like it's crazy. But one yeah. football game, like it's just crazy. Yeah. And, and if, um, it's just me and the wifey going over it's one thing but then you know with two young boys they want to go to and that's like, oh yeah you're, you're, you're going price, mate, right really like, it's, it's cost more than the flights like that's, that's yeah, how bad yeah, it is sure. that is how we've crazy got, it is. Got points on our credit card to get over there it's just oh, yeah, it's like, ridiculous the hotel and the, the tickets are you gonna try and yeah. get involved in pre-season now or you is it too bit of a trip? Um, we looked at the tickets for the july 28th game down here in la i think tj's going mm -hmm. um it was god it was dude, it was like 1200 bucks a ticket what for a good section? Yeah, the SoFi Stadium is gorgeous. For a preseason game. Oh, yeah, and that, that's the thing. It's like I don't want to go there if the if the if Starboy ain't going to be there, right? That's true. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, TJ got pissed off. Going to be on a holiday. So. Exactly, and TJ got pissed off because he went to the All Star game, and Declan Rice yeah. wasn't there. You know, some of the main boys weren't there. Right. You've got I'm that not going to pay well. to go see, you know, no, shout out Nathan and Wari, but I'm not going to go pay twelve hundred bucks to go see him play. No way. No, in, uh, 85 minutes and I can watch it on YouTube. But um, no. yeah, it's just, you know, getting down there. We talked about driving down. I guess we scored again. I heard people, kids yelling. Score again? Game Did we score again? No, I think it might have been full time. Okay. Yep, that's full time. 3-0 right. to the Arsenal. Let's go. Sack a penalty. Brilliant. Have a goal, Trossard goal. We Let's are go currently on. top of the table. Um, I have never been more of a United fan because I fucking hate United. Um, but if they can do us a favour... And go ahead and win tomorrow. That would help us out a lot. Uh, it's beautiful being a top of the league. Fifty-one goal difference. That is crazy. That's nuts. Eleven away from City. Nine away from Liverpool. Look at Tottenham. Eighteen. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Come on, Forrest. Come on, Forrest. <laughs> Um, but yeah, great game. Uh, Dow, any final words before we head out of here? Uh, no, thanks for ju- having me jump on real quick. I know you got a busy day, and f- a busy evening in front of you, Connor. Got some stuff going on. I know TJ does too. Um, shout out everybody in the chat. Um, yeah, I got to give it to Gabrielle. Let's keep the defensive reinforcements man of the match for me, yep. Gabrielle. Another clean sheet, bro. A way of right, not the easiest place to Ray, go. Raya is the first Spanish goalkeeper in the Premier League to get five consecutive clean sheets. I so, heard that today. Yes, yeah. I had heard. I think the announcer had mentioned that, or you had mentioned that earlier yeah. in the in the stream. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for being in the chat and helping Connor out today. I I know he loved everybody having his back. Uh, shout out to the Rat Army, and shout that out TJ. Good. Hope you're enjoying your vacation. And yeah, Connor, I'm going to give it to Gabrielle and three points. Top of the league until tomorrow, probably. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I do. Even a draw. I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw as I well. Take so, a draw. Yeah. So anything, draw, anything that sure. limits them from being on top of us. Uh, but big yeah. up to everyone who has who has been inside. Of course, AJ, obviously Dow himself, uh, Arsenal Manic, uh, Ravi, Johnny Donut, so many people to name. The guy, you guys, you were insane in this this stream. You were all here getting involved. I really, really appreciate it. Do smash a like if you're watching on playback and do subscribe on the road to 1K. If we can get TJ to 1K by the end of April, yeah. that'd be fantastic. So, um, yeah, no match reaction. Unfortunately, guys, I do have to head off. But um, thank you everyone for tuning in. Check out myself and Dow in the description below. Our channels are there as well with, obviously, TJs. Uh, so do go ahead and subscribe to us as well. Um, I will be doing a stream tomorrow, personally. Uh, we'll be doing a stream tomorrow, reacting to a couple of the Premier League games. So do go ahead and check that out. I'm finally back doing streams. So do check that out about 9.30 tomorrow, PM UK. Um, okay. But yeah, the next time you'll catch us on here will be Tuesday. Bayern Tuesday. Munich. Yeah. Bayern Munich, good. Okay, I was worried that the game was Wednesday. I thought I might have to go in the office Wednesday. But uh, no, no, Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm, I'm not clear, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, good here. Stuff. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Great <gonna> stuff. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Bye, Munich. We can do this. I think we can get something, man. Top of the league. Doesn't get better than this. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Come on, you gunners. Oh, let's go. (laughs) 